All right. For... Howdy, rowdy, Cub Scouts. I am. We are now live on stream. We need everyone in the cult to be on their best behavior. You are now. This, this is why. <laughs> this is why. I, this is why I didn't add you yet <laughs> to the voice. You got bamboozled. No one will ever be able to hear you. It's gonna be a completely silent stream. It will just, it will just, you'll just hear me being like, Zombie, are you sure you want to stab yourself in the face repeatedly? And then like, no one will hear you and I'll be like, okay. And then like, you gotta just delete your token. <laughs> stab wounds. 28 stab wounds. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, you are now actually, actually visible. Oops, that's the wrong one. Ah. There we go. Oh, well, I there it is. I part two. Oh, uh, yes. I My think. adoring players. My adoring minions. Boy. Help! I've been My kidnapped! My adoring fucking sacrifices I do evil things to, yeah. That is, that is the one, yep. Thank you for, for, for the uh, vote of confidence. Wow. While everyone has a moment, if you guys could just take one second we are we are we are back in our little dungeon demo. We are like I think halfway through the third floor, which is about halfway through the campaign. Oh, oh my gosh! There. <laughs> Whoa! Give me all your all the prayer. Yeah, I, I I was gonna say lair, but that also didn't fit. So we're all losers. Yeah. <laughs> we are joined by a handful of people. We are joined by Strom. We are joined by Zombie. We are joined by Divine. And we are joined hey by Sigbert. You'll notice that, uh, unfortunately, Ray was not able to join us today. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and, ah! and then we're just going to like do, go, do the thing and just, ah! and then we just like, her, 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 she has vanished. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Rogue. <laughs> She's that good. She's just invisible. Why? Like, hold on. Why is this repeating? There. She's just still there. It's just that she's invisible. Hold on. My game is not okay. There we go. My 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 music was looping on the same song forever, and that made no sense. Okay, we're fine. All right. Who would like to do a recap of the last session for an inspiration? Why don't you? You want me to give myself an inspiration? Are you sure like about that? When, I like it when the DM has inspiration. It makes it fun. All right, mm. cool. I can do it. Oh, Sig, Sig, Sig stealing the thunder. Go for it, Sig. All right. Last session. We started off uh, shortly after the encounter with goblins. Uh, yes. We looted the place uh, following the instructions of uh, Mr. Goblin, who we murdered in cold blood after he told us the, where the loot was. Yes, it is. It is um, worth. I, I do want to to inform you, maybe maybe <laughs> not nonchalantly, that you did find a treasure chest that contained uh, some valuable coinage. However, yeah, you I was it, it, to that. it is certainly not a secret room. Um, did we pass it? Same. That is a good point. I think I. That, if you you mentioning that, I know where the secret room is now. Um, well, uh, okay, so back on track. Uh, our friendly Minotaur got a bunch of potion bottles. Um, there was conflict over some gold. Uh, conflict. <laughs> uh, gold. <laughs> ne nearly deadly conflict in which Jeff. Uh, dropped uh, our, our good rogue to one hit point away from instant death. Mm -hmm. um, then why are people eating uh, and drinking? We lowered ourselves into the floor beneath, starting with Zombie, who opened the door um, to this larger area. And then we all arrived later on. Um, eventually, our rogue was reacquired from upstairs, and then our minotaur 
uh, got a headache and vanished. <laughs> wow. The, the, uh, yeah, gain, ha have some inspiration, Sig. We, we, we found this uh, Warforged. His name is Martyr. And they had decided to take a long rest in the safety of this corridor before continuing and proceeding with the rest of the floor. I, 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 I love that this, I love the description, Sig. Uh, it felt like reading a police report where they fired like four dozen shots and in the report it just says, a scuffle broke out. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's, what, that's what the recap felt like. I was like. shot. You were shot three times. It hurt. Yeah. It uh, you you um, you are an undead, so it is it is fairly trivial for you to remove those arrows as part of a short rest. But it's it's no less uncomfortable to watch for um for anyone who is uh keeping you company during this rest. Four health sucks. Last wounds. So, you have arrived at the at this corridor. You had a chance to to open very briefly the door that was ahead of you, and you saw these um these stone walls clearly made of the same material as from uh, your previous rooms. Uh, but however, manipulated in some way, they glow of various colors, runes align the walls from the very top to its bottom. Uh, runes on each side glow with the respective colors, giving the entire wall a particular hue. You saw that in, to your immediate left and right where, um, were walls that glowed with a soft blue and bright white light, while in the far distance you could barely make out walls that glowed in a more deep and um, foreboding green and red light. The exact purpose of these runes were not clear to you, although they are obviously magical. Everyone has finished their long rest, right? You 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 um you got your hit points back and all that stuff. Long rest. Yep. yep. So, you guys have had a chance to rest. I I did a roll behind the scenes to see if anything weird happened while you slept. Nothing happened. You guys had a a, a fine time. Nothing happened that we know of. <laughs> that is so true. Much health again? Nothing happened to you know. You get all your health back after a I long rest. I don't remember how much I had. You check your character sheet, man. You have a max this is health. eleven, but that seems low. Eleven actually oh. sounds about right for oh, uh, that's for you. Good. It's it's <laughs> it's pretty high for uh, for most characters. It's about average for a ranger, I think. Okay. So without uh, I I, I suppose you will note that uh, when you wake up, your 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 elven rogue is gone. Huh. Suspicious. I killed her too hard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, she's probably off grabbing more treasures. Mm. Mm. Succumb to Atris. Mm. Onward. Onward says the slime. Uh, so once again, you would come in from the south, so you know that the only way forward is north, into that mysterious, uh, magical hallway. I'm gonna go and open the doors and announce. The doors- Someone bring the balls. <laughs> Someone bring the ball. The doors swing open. And you see this just the same as you as you did before. Of course, you immediately make the connection about the balls. You notice that, of course, the the uh, smooth, born, obviously sanded down large rocks um, that basically look like cannonballs that uh, occupy the hallway with you are color coded themselves. They seem to be coated in a certain kind of of um, of dye, like a paint. Um, there's nothing ma seemingly magical about them. No runes, but they're obviously color with some sort of dye, and you'll note that the corners of the of the boulders seem to correspond to the walls that are in the following room. Blue, white, red, and green. 
So, do we go down each one? That is how it appears, yes. Okay, you made an intelligence check for what purpose? Uh, to see if I'm going to make a intelligent decision or a stupid one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna pop over here and- uh... All right. Uh, at the moment you step inside the corridor, Ragnar, you... I'm not stepping inside. I'm just peering over the. Uh... Right, right, right. The moment, you, when I, yeah, the moment you and Jeff step inside this room, um, oh. the the um, the world around you seems to grow quiet. The ambience of the wind blowing from the top floors of the dungeon starts to soften, and the hum. Uh, of the runes surrounding the skeleton's cage become fainter and fainter. Um, you imagine that it's just uh, a, a trick of the distance, a trick of the waves, but um, you know, another step in or two and these sounds start to fade away entirely. The room is now eerily, eerily silent, unnaturally silent. I attempt to cast Eldritch Blast. All right, you attempt to cast Eldritch Blast, but when your mouth utters the verbal incantation to do so, you find that your voice is suddenly lost. Yep. Silence. Also, it's worth noting, uh, Jeff, that the moment you stand inside this particular square, runes that line up the bottom of this corridor, invisible runes that you had not seen up until now, start to glow with a fierce blue light and you start to feel a biting cold on your feet. You take two cold damage. Ouch. That would have killed me if I didn't heal. Looks a little cold in there, Jeff. You you yeah. say that, but once again, when you try to make that snide comment, your voice is suddenly lost. <laughs> as you cannot speak. Well, he can speak. I can't hear it. No, well he's he can't he, he, he can hear You see he, my lips he, moving. He can't but... he can't even hear himself. He's not in the room yet. He he is. He's in this room. Uh, you this this uh this silencing this damping effect of sounds uh, was caused the moment you stepped through these doors. Uh oh. Okay. Anyway, Jeff, are you just gonna sit there? Uh, I'm gonna move here. All right. You after feeling uh a short wave of frostbite, nap at the uh, appendages that one might call feet. Uh, you jump back and hug the white wall. The runes that the rune that sort of glowed uh, uh, ho uh, in a hostile fashion to your approach starts to dim again and once again becomes invisible. I will think in my head. Hmm. May I have to run through this room since I can't fucking speak. And I'm going to take a dash action, and I'll do 40 feet of movement here. Let's see what's on the other side before I move the other uh, cool. 20. Cool. So you take one cold damage as you sprint through a series of runes. Each foot you move, a new rune seems to glow one. violently. You take one a... point of cold damage. Ow. As well, the moment you turn the corner... You see... Nothing. Uh, no, not nothing. You see a skeleton with a scimitar seeming to guard what looks to be a, uh, a small runic circle uh, with a slight dent embedded on the floor. The skeleton moves to approach you as if to attack. You have a moment to move away or I'll be starting initiative. Uh, since I'm still basically running around this corner, do I get a right. charge attack? You, 
Uh, unfortunately, no, because you can't charge unless you move in a straight line, and this is not a straight line. You can back uh, away. Where does it say? And prepare that? to do that. I think I think it's I think it's supposed to be in a straight line before attacking, right? It is. Uh, immediately after you use a, the dash action on your turn, move at least twenty feet. You can make uh one melee attack. Oh, it does not say it's in the charger I, feet that we're thinking. Yeah, of. I must be thinking yeah. of charger feet. Yeah. So so would you would you like to uh roll initiative? Now it's uh, worth it's worth noting again the room is encased in silence. So aside from Jeff, who is seeing the Minotaur charge forward and seemingly prepare to gore something on the other side, no one else has any idea what is going on. Fuck it. Can Let's can charge this motherfucker. All right. Everyone roll initiative. Uh, because of this, I'm going to say that uh, Strom and Zombie, you are surprised because you have no idea of the, of the danger. Yeah, I was gonna say, can I like roll a perception check to uh, see if I could get a gist of what's happening? No, because no. you Too because late. uh yeah. because all sight is behind total cover. Well, okay, I'm from and... Jeff. I mean... Oh, for Jeff? No, Jeff, you're not surprised because you because you you obviously see Ragnar charging in, and then you you yeah, can yeah. tell from your relationship can with I... Ragnar when he bows his head and stomps yeah. his hooves, he's going to charge something. Uh... Can oh no! I, 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 as things are happening, sign like use hand signs too. I have a plan, but I don't have enough time to do it, and I can't do it myself. So it, it would take one action from someone else. So I would be starting to sign help to the robot. Cool. In that case, what I could say is on your turn, Jeff, you may use a bonus action to urge the others to help. And as a bonus action, you'll basically be ending the surprise condition on one of the other two. Okay. Let me get my notes in. Yep. Everyone else should be rolling initiative as well. Even if you're not, okay. even if you're surprised, I still need you on initiative order. What sure. the fuck, Jeff? Oh, come on. <laughs> What's here? <laughs> I'm before you. My dex is uh... higher. <laughs> I was about to say, I am not a dex person. So as long as you have above a 10, you're going yes. before me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, I don't think my token's working. Yeah, mine's not either. Oh, really? Uh, oh, me... yes, it is. I forgot what I had to do. I had to click on my guy first. I'm sending... Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not working. That is unfortunate. Ah, uh, there are. I don't have uh, non-verbal spells, so that's. Yeah, I'll wrong. just go ahead and manually roll it for right now. Yeah, go ahead and manually roll, and I'll of course add you to the initiative order with the uh, with the number you rolled. Uh, wow, everyone loves their twelves right now. Mm. Four. <laughs> All right. So if we organize you like this. Uh, you guys, people who tie an initiative order, you can choose the order you guys go in. Uh, I mean, would you guys like to go first? I'm rolling again. You can't roll again. Oh, I get it roll again. That's not how initiative works. Make it work. Technically, how it the whole works point of this demo is to teach you the rules of the game. Yeah, I can't just how it decide. Is, um... Whoever has the higher decks goes first, which would make it me, then Zombie, then Ragnar. Yep. By the way, as, as you move forward, you get to see the rest of this sort of area. So you can see past the rest of the hallway. You can see a door far across the other side. A similar door yeah. with what looks to be a similar lock. Hey, there's two things I can see, and it's pretty cute. Adorable. <laughs> 
Did you, did you, were you hoping for inspiration on that one? Because I can't. I, I can't That's condone it. Get out. The door in the Get room. out. <laughs> All right. So, so, so in that case, I, I believe, Jeff, you have a plus three on your decks. Quentin, what's your dexterity? So, plus one. You Quentin, your dexterity that. is plus one? Quentin! <laughs> I'm yelling at you! Zombie! What? Hold on. What's your dexterity, my guy? My undead fellow? I don't know where that is. It's uh, it's, it's one on of your six core stats, side. yeah. This is a plus 12. It's 12, okay. So in that case... Unless the plus one's on the 12. No, 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 no 12 is fine. Uh, so in that case, Jeff, you go first. Okay. Uh, yes, I will use my bonus action to end the surprised effect on Martyr. Okay, Martyr, you're no longer surprised. Jeff, you still have, of course, your movement in action. Yes, I do, in fact, have those. <laughs> Here's the thing. Neither of those are really great <laughs> for me right now. On, I was wondering, on this side of the hallway, is it less quiet? No. At the moment you step into this room, all sound seems to quickly fade into nothing. Eerie silence, unnatural silence, and that effect seems to permeate throughout the entire place. Okay, so it's not a blue room is silence room sort of situation. No. All right, um, I will. Hmm. Go back. More like just being like, I can't talk. Five, oh, six. no. Uh, dash. Sure. Go okay. Here. Where are you going? Thankfully, I don't need to speak. Oh, you, 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 you dash out of the corridor. Dash out of the corridor, get right. close to the orb. The moment you have, uh, the moment you have a chance to actually speak, when going to the other side of the, uh, of the door, you are able to alert people to what is going on. I'll end the condition on Quentin as well. The surprise okay. condition. No more surprise. Yep. Is there anything else you want to do? Uh, no, there isn't. Okay. Actually. Oh. Uh. I will talk. I will say. Uh, all right, robot. Stay here. We've got to do something. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stay here. Yeah, that, that's basically your turn. You have, like, an interaction left. If you wanted to do anything. But, uh. Um. Aside. I don't think I can pick up this orb. What's I your strength? Ten, and I'm small. With with your actually, yeah, you are small, aren't you? You yeah, you cannot lift this rock. Yeah. Try you, you, even trying with all your might, you are simply unable to to budge this boulder. Quentin, it is your yeah. turn. You've been you've you've been informed in some. Maybe slightly uncertain terms that there is a scuffle happening on the left side after Ragnar had ran in. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do here. You do not know what to do. You found it. You found it <laughs> curious though, because you, of course, not having ever been in the room yourself, did realize, along with Martyr, that the people who did go into the room seemed to move their mouths on occasion as if to speak, but you could not hear what they said. As well, the stomping. Oh of the minotaur as he charged into this blue icy hallway seems to seem not to echo along the walls at all the stomping that is that would be very loud never reached your ears hmm will torches help me like with the cold um they 
they probably won't if they're magical. Of course, you never saw the runes. So you have no idea what's happening in here. So they're not colored blue and green, like red a lot? I mean, they are colored, but the runes glow from inside this area, which is sort of outside your field of vision at the moment. Okay. They're hidden um, behind the blue walls. I just this <laughs> just go with wait how far can I go? I don't know how to do the measuring you, thing you, yet. You have a you have a movement speed of thirty feet, which is six squares. So you get to move six squares, basically. Okay, so I can and, go here. And then if you dash you can move twice as far. Alright. Similar to the others, as soon as you step in, you recognize the source of the unnatural silence that came from those who would speak but could not be heard and those who stomped but would not be noticed. You are in a zone of silence. Just say those who stunk but would not be noticed. Stop, stomped, <laughs> stomped. Silent but listen, deadly. Listen, listen, I don't want to make any suggestions about about your about Ragnar's hygienic habits. Uh, he washes himself daily. I feel like my guy would stink the most. Yeah, you, you probably would. The rotting corpse. <laughs> I would say I would say the rotting of your I would say the rotting of your corpse has long since passed, and it's more it is it is it is more the 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 fresh daisies I know Thank the you. the excessive musk of okay. wilderness travel. I smell like a lumberjack. You you smell like piss. Okay, or that. And 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 without a sense of smell, or without a strong sense of smell, you might find yourself without the need to. Clean yourself. It actually acts as solid camouflage when in the wild. <laughs> I, I want to end my turn. I'm done. I, just, <laughs> I have I just, nothing else. To I just do. like I just like demoralize you. I was like, you smell like piss. End your turn. <laughs> your... All right. In that case, Ragnar, it is your turn. What will you be doing? Uh, so I noticed that you're still turns, holding your rock. Like, yeah. <laughs> Since I can't really goring rush him since it's a new turn, I'm just gonna step up and I'm gonna bring the hit. I was gonna say bring the hammer, but bring the rock down. Fair enough. Make me an improvised attack roll. Uh, that would just be a straight strength roll. Uh, yes, unless you're proficient with improvised weapons, but I assume you're not. I am absolutely not. So that is just gonna be a strength roll. Yep, go for it. That is going to be a 15. All right. In that case, give me a D6 plus your strength damage. Uh, so that's D6 plus three. All right. You, you bring the hammer down. And while the skeleton has many holes in its ribs and eyes that arrows and sharp blades might uh, squeeze through in the gaps, the large blunt rock you crash down crushes the brittle bones of the skeleton, and he is left uh, practically limping, only his skull and a few choice limbs remain, uh, desperately flailing around its scimitar. Now, <laughs> Uh, I assume your turn ends. Uh, do I have any bonus action bullshit? No, I'm at level one, so yeah. All right. Well, while you're still in this frost-bitten room, the runes continue to glow and continue to nip at your toes. You take two cold damage. Ow! So the anyways. The skeleton, meanwhile, despite being on a... Uh, on death's door uh still has its arm slightly animated and it nevertheless attempts wildly to flail at your body uh what is your armor class uh it is a big old fuck you at 18. cool oh that's it i was looking at i was like where are my stats actually no that's without a shield uh 16. okay well well, despite the skeleton's best efforts, its arm can only reach so far now that its entire lower torso has been crushed and it flails around and it's simple enough to step back to avoid uh, being sliced. Martyr, it's your turn. All right. 
Mario recognizing the stuff is up. So I draw the, his great sword and I'll take the action to dash. Uh, let's say about there. Okay. As you enter, similar to everyone else who has come in, the runes that glow start to bite and sort of snap freeze uh, light segments of your hard metal exterior. You take one cold damage. Actually, you take actually you take two cold damage as you have to. I assume end your turn there, and the runes will continue to snap at your feet. Mm. All right, fair enough. All right, Jeff, it's back to you. Okay, uh, can I drag the orbs? No, you you can't. Well, you could roll the orbs if you yeah, chose. Rolling, rolling the orbs. You is you could you could attempt to roll the orbs. Like um, but you'll be ro you'll be doing that at half speed. You should ponder the orbs. <laughs> ponder the orb. I would like to roll. Okay, wait a minute. Half speed. One, two. I would like to roll all four orb. Ugh, Jesus, that's weird. All four orb. I would like to orb them into the middle. Orb the four orbs. Into the middle. Uh, yeah. so. So based on how much you can move, you can basically move roll these orbs a combined total of maybe four squares. So is that what? Rolling each orb one square towards the middle like so? No, not not that way. Towards where I am currently. Oh, you're you're grouping them towards you. Yes, grouping the, the orbs. Put them in you. All right. You've done your you... best to group the orbs <laughs> close to you. Um, as I okay. mentioned, the orbs are obviously dyed in various colors, but they are not coupled with any particular runes. You do not feel any chill or other um, sensations as you touch the orbs, and they do not seem to have any magical properties as they make contact with each other or the ground around them. They are just heavy rocks. Okay. Um, can I also draw on... The, is there dust and dirt on the floor, I guess? Um, I mean, sure. Yeah, the, the area is caked in, 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 in dirt and loose gravel. Can I write... Here? You're going to write Elbereth on it? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to write Jeff in an arrow pointing <laughs> to my space. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> what? Is this like a NetHack reference? <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> No. That, that, that's for my old school boomer gamers out there. Uh, uh, no, no, I wrote Elbert on the ground. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. All right, Quentin, it's your turn. Okay. I actually have a good plan. Okay, ready for this one? Go for it. I'll go, I go backwards, right? Okay, you move backwards. So right here? Hi. I can move one more space, right? Because that was five. Yeah, so you can. Go right here. Yeah, I like the green ball. You lick it? I lick it. All right. Um, give me a constitution saving throw. The hell is that? Hold on, I gotta find that. Is this it? I think so. That looks like the word you just said. Uh, it's, it's kind of the same thing, yeah. You lick the green orb and it tastes awful. <laughs> Wow. It is, cake, it is caked in dirt, and despite the reduced sense of taste your undead body gives you, you can't help but gag slightly at the weird mixture of dirt, dust, grime, uh, spores, and, um, and dyes that now um, are slightly removed from the uh, cannonball. You, I thought it was you, green apple. You, 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 you cough and maybe gag slightly. You're not wounded in any way. But it is un it is, it is it is clearly uncomfortable and disgusting. And as you cough and try to wipe the remains off of your mouth, there's a very clear green spot uh, on your <laughs> tongue where it made contact. Nice. <laughs> so it blends in with me. That was an interesting turn. Let's move to Ragnar. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
since the rock didn't do the do what I wanted it to. I mean, the rock did guess, a lot of stuff. It just didn't finish him off. I guess I gotta finish him off with a <clears throat> mace to the face. Mace to the face sounds uh like just the I place. can lick him if you want. That's, With that, I'm gonna roll. I, I, that unfortunately does not. Well, actually, this this skeleton would be prone. Roll with advantage. I'll just roll again. All right, that will hit as you bring the mighty mace down and crush the remains of the skeleton's skull as it wriggled about. It is dead. Cool. You continue to take one cold damage. Uh, do I see anything else in this room? No, aside from the areas you see here, the little divot of, a, of an arcane rune here, the magical glowing runes that continue to, uh, that continue to hamper the movements of yourself and uh, Martyr, the rest of the area seems relatively featureless. All right, we're gonna make our uh, exit because it yep. is kind of yep. tidbit nipply out here. Yep, you you and you and Martyr can now make your way out of the area without um, without taking further damage, and uh, we'll go ahead and move out of turn order since that battle is basically done. It's fucking rocks in my way. God damn it! Now I gotta take that. All right, one. Oh, that was not though. <laughs> oh wow, it was a little a little more <laughs> chilly than we expected. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna make my way back over here. Yes. The balls are ready. One has a little bit missing. Yeah, one one might have just the <laughs> slightest amount of dyes missing from it. Wait, why is that one a little different? It tasted <laughs> it... You you tasted, tasted the orb. I thought it would taste good. I thought it would taste green. Yeah, Quentin pondered a little too hard. You know what? <laughs> I think that red one might taste like cherry. Really? Do not lick. Move <laughs> <laughs> Give me, give me another Constitution saving throw, zombie. I'm not even there. Okay. <laughs> this uh, this yeah. one, this one tasted like red. <gasps> Ooh. Wish to roll the orb. Okay. The blue orb. The How blue do you move door. it? Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give everyone control of these orbs that you can move. Oh, actually, no. They're all maps. I'm just going to move them with you. I want the okay. green one. Uh, if I see him moving it, I'm just going to set the rock down and then uh, pick it up. That's right. It's, it's dungeon-sponsored rocks now. Wait, how, do, <laughs> how much strength do I have to have to pick it up? So you need, you will need at least 10 strength to carry it with both hands. I have or, 12. Or 14 strength to carry it with one hand. I have 12, I'm fine. You need, right, yeah, cool. but you need to use both your hands to carry this. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I guess in the meantime, we're just go go ahead and grab your white one. And I got yeah. a strength of 15, so I can just one hand this. You can one hand it, yes. All right. I guess we're gonna run, just gonna have to light crossbow armed and ready. Okay, and where are you bringing this? I have a 17 strength, so I can watch. Jesus! It. Nice. I guess I'm gonna search uh, around the corner here for an entrance to the white room. Whoops! I almost ruined. Oop. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I made a, I made a, I made a bit of a boo boo. All right, let's reveal more areas of this dungeon. Okay. okay. And Ragnar, you're taking the orb and what are you doing with it? Uh I could sprint it basically right over to the uh You absolutely could. Thing. All right. You carry it and make a what the heck? You carry it and make a mad <laughs> dash at it the end of the like hall. Legos. You you realize that surprisingly this time as you sprint along the corridor expecting the biting cold to nip your toes, the runes do not activate. Neat. 
question. So you were able to effortlessly and painfully, I assume, place the orb on the circle. On the divot. Question. Yes? Were Think the runes active when the skeleton was dead and they were walking out? Yes, the skeleton had died. I mean, you you're, you as a character don't know this. Yes. But Ragnar, uh, after killing the skeleton, still had the biting cold nip at him a little bit before he ran away. Okay. So I put a thumbs up and then I'm going to rush on out. Yep. You get two goopy thumbs up in return. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. I can pick up the other two. <laughs> Wait, boy. I'm already holding the green one. That's I'll right. pick you up too, boy. You can't. No! You're, 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 what? How strong are you, Ragnar? Uh, I have a 17 in the strength. I don't know. I don't know if you could pick up both boulders and Quentin at all at <laughs> I'm once. I'm not picking up the boulder. But Quentin oh. has the boulder. Which is adding weight. You mean the marble? The marble. The marble. The marble. <laughs> Perhaps. That that right there is my boulder. These things this, are marbles. Okay, so this time, uh, Martyr, as you approach this hall, you see a sight very similar to what we had seen in the um, in the uh, in the other area. A much more open area, uh, a much more a much more open path. Again, glowing with white light. This time, you see a skeleton, another one, guarding this divot filled with a white circle it has a scimitar and looks at you eerily as if anticipating your approach now i'm not going to have you do a full combat for every skeleton but if anyone wants to fight the skeleton i'm just going to have the skeleton roll and attack to see if you get damaged during the fight and then we'll assume that you kill it in two rounds i mean I, I was gonna originally approach this with uh, holding my action for the light crossbow as I entered the room uh, in case there's anything aggressive, but I guess I can do it now. Yep. All right, let me go ahead and do that. Ragnar, are you moving anything with this? Are you moving, like, what are you guys doing, uh, Ragnar and Quentin, with the, with the boulders that you're now carrying? All right. Uh, uh, yes. What is yes? Putting two to two together, I'm gonna grab the red marble and uh, bring it over to the red room. All right. Uh, because <laughs> because because of this exact positioning, um, you're in a decent enough position to take pot shots on the skeleton. Oh my uh, favorite! You 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 strike it in the head, and as it re realizes that you're attacking from this angle, it starts to move as if to avoid your fire. You get one more shot. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that's a crit. Uh, it is whoop. dead. Net 20. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have some flair to it. Yeah. Hmm. All right. I not, now I know that there's uh, but zone of silence around this area, but there is even yeah. if yeah even if there was he would have just said neutralized. Are you are you are you yeah? Who's carrying this green ball? Me. Okay. Who else? The green guy. <laughs> the green guy that licked it. All right. And I assume that you take uh. Martyr, you're taking the this white orb, this white boulder. Yes. And similar to Ragnar, you come in, and as long as you uh, as you approach with the white boulder uh, in your single hand, um, if there were runes in this room, which you might have suspected there would be, uh, they do not seem to activate. Eric, well that. Mario, we'll just go ahead and place the white orb on this circle uh, ritual thing right here. Yep. The orb has been placed snugly and a perfect fit. Right. For everyone That's else. Oh, yeah. 
I'll just reveal the rest of the room, which looks like this. And as expected, each magic circle has its own skeleton guarding it. Now, these skeletons being around the corner, similar to our buddy in blue, you're not really at liberty to use ranged attacks to deal with this. How do you want to fight? Uh, well, I'm going to use the age-old tactic of hit it till it dies! All right. Since so you can carry this boulder with one hand, your free hand can be used to carry any other weapon. Unless you plan to drop the boulder on, drop the actual boulder on him. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just going to pull out the war hammer. All right. Just one hand that bitch. All right. I'm just going to make like before. I'm just going to make an attack. What's your armor class? Oh, never mind. He critically failed. <laughs> With two Crap. simple swings, no. the skeleton is crushed. <laughs> Zombie, how do you fight? Do I even see the skeleton yet? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll assume that you, you turn the corner or peek around and you would see the skeleton. How do you plan to fight it? Um, you are carrying this boulder in both hands. Can it because move? Because you're not strong enough. Yes, it will approach you as soon as you turn the corner. Okay. I want to roll the ball forward. Okay. You're going to bowling ball strike this guy. Yes. Give me Give me a strength check. <laughs> Why are you laughing? A 13 is good. That will that will do hey. significant damage to the skeleton. Give me a d6 plus one. What the hell? Oh, huh? Roll a d6. Roll a six-sided <laughs> die. Where? Where? Uh, you, 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 that that one, that one has to be a manual roll. So you would just type slash uh, roll in the you chat. You can also go off to the left side. There's one that says, uh, has like a little die. And you can... Uh... I was lied to. Slash roll is an unrecognized command. Well, you have to you have to actually type like I did, and the D roll, and the D six afterwards. D6. Oh, you didn't type that. One D six. Yeah. There. Two. All right. So you do a significant chunk of damage to the skeleton. You basically. Uh, roll through one of its legs. Hi, Edelgard. Thank you for checking out the stream. Um, and it is now hobbling its way towards you. I'm gonna have it make an attack before you finish killing it. What's your armor class? Uh, 12. Oh, wow. It barely misses. You do manage Phew. to take the boulder and, and finish off bowling over this skeleton. It is worth noting that while you take the ball in your hands and basically thrust it at the skeleton and ball him over with it for the split moment that the boulder leaves your hands you feel a sickly rune under you start to deteriorate your body from the inside you take two poison damage i'm immune to poison you take no poison damage <laughs> you're not immune to poison damage you're immune to being poisoned aren't you uh, the, there was something about poison in my thing. Hold on. <laughs> you have resistance to poison damage. You take That's one poison. You, you have one poison. You take oh. one poison damage. Same thing. Same thing. Um, the, just, the, rune, the rune. The rune. The rune. The rune immediately dissipates the moment you touch the orb again. So I lost one damage. I'm at. You 10. lost one hit point. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm, as, I'm as, here, as 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 you oh. and Ragnar, I suppose, fill in the remaining holes. Um, yeah, we do. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> oh, I'm not playing a bard. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wrong, wrong, wrong game. Wrong class. <laughs> yes. Um, as you finish, uh, sealing the rest of the magic circles, the sound of this, the sound of crumbling skeletons and clattering scimitars and the wind coming from above ground start to rush into your ears as you realize the zone of silence has dissipated. Similarly, you hear the, the whirring of gears and chunk chunks of gears and, and, and other cogs uh, coming from the direction of the door in front. Oh wait, hey. I just realized something. Uh... Yeah, is it possible if I could try to retrieve the crossbow bolts from the skeleton by chance? Uh, sure. Roll a d2. Oh, 
All right. You shot two crossbow bolts and they are both still in good condition. Nice. All right. With that, so I'll just go ahead and rejoin the rest of the group. All right. And in the meantime, I went and picked that back up my boulder your boulder Rocky yeah four. you're you're staying loyal to the original boulder rocky <laughs> four okay quentin uh we're, we're out of combat and everything so you're free to to join the rest of the group as well or do whatever you'd like you can lick the boulder i can lick the boulder yes you can oh shoot excuse me all right Ragnar, you are at front of the door. I'm going to make an assumption. I boot fuck the door. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The door swings open. Do I gotta roll or anything for looking this? Uh, no. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna make you. I'm not gonna make you re roll. Like uh, it tastes like blue. Ooh. <laughs> Are you gonna taste all the fucking orbs? No, I'm leaving the white one. I don't want to know what white tastes like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and similar to before, there's a small corridor with there's another door. There, but I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> all these fucking doors. <laughs> Wait, so if Man I go grab a bar right now, will I shut the door? Try I'm confused it. with the. <laughs> Try it. Ooh, if you insist. I'm gonna walk ahead and open up the other door. <laughs> All right. You walk ahead and open up the other door. Whoops. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this real quick. And you come across a large and exquisite room, which I will highlight in just a moment as Quentin removes the boulder from the magic circle. Um. From the perspective of the rest of the team, nothing noticeable seems to happen. Quentin, you also don't notice anything in particular happening because you can't see what's going on. But you didn't hear the sound of any doors closing. So there's no indication that anything happened. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I put it back. I'm going back with the team. You pay it back and rejoin the team. This nothing is happened. the room, this is the room you find. Oh, a boy. large wizard study lies across from you with a massive resplendent rug of 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 Man, uh, of good thing missing the gold and bright red. Wait, can can I like are a we large, gonna be told what all these icons are? A large table sits at your center with a book with a large book uh splayed out in front as well as a collection of several magic circles of varying sigils and colors six sigils sit around the desk in front of you and at the edge of the at the edge of the carpet lies a collection of eight various massive chests each one adorned with some odd looking symbol are you gonna tell us or do we gotta figure that out um i can tell you what each of these symbols seem to indicate okay Go so for it. <laughs> so if you if you were to look at because because basically there are runes that look to be crude drawings of of particular mundane items so uh in no particular order there is there are there is the um crude drawings of a pearl a oh man, actually, actually need to get my list again. He doesn't even know what they are. A pearl, a tooth, a leaf, a shirt. Um, I think those top two on the other one are missing. Yeah, there's two missing. And then a diamond, and then like a snake. I yeah, one like moment. I gotta look this up. I I can't believe I don't have this on my notes. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> is anybody else kind of like peeved about like the rug in the table? What's wrong with what's wrong I with the table and the rug? Mentioned it. It's 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 particularly large. It it looks it no, looks it's like uneven. 
Oh, it's uneven. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. So um, I'm going to gently move the table. So that way it, uh... The table is massive. And well, you, find, you, you, <laughs> find that that, OCD yeah, you, you find that it takes a concerted effort from everyone to move the table. We all move the table. I think I, we all understand that we want to move this table. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> Let's. Oh, boy. I what, we oh, find out that it unlocks like the final boss. No, I just. I, I have to I have to the map. I, have to, I, I, I have to add all these things at once. This is painful. <laughs> Maybe uh, make it even next time. <laughs> I'm trying. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh heck. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm almost there. There. How's that? Good enough for you? No. Oh my god. Still a little uneven. It don't Turns don't don't test right. my patience. <laughs> 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 don't test my patience. All right, I'm I'm really sorry. Uh, I I need a minute to find just a few more notes. It's still off ever so slightly, and <laughs> I know. Sh <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> I think it's worse now. Not, neither oh, none of you would notice this. It's so I it's so it out. <laughs> your Twice. characters your your characters your characters, your characters are convinced that it's perfectly balanced. My character's stupid. <laughs> All right. I am a paladin of order. This <laughs> is out of order. Even. <laughs> it's like fucking the lemon guy from Adventure Time. <laughs> this is unacceptable. I demand it be perfect. Okay. Yes. So, uh, this is what you see. You see on this symbol, I'm on what the looks, table. And, and you you can make notes of this because it's gonna be hard for me to describe this again. But for for this chest, a crude drawing of what looks to be a shiny white sphere is visible. Here there seems to be a drop of some sort of gray liquid. For this chest, there seems to be the appearance of some sort of feather or leaf. What's a feather? Uh, on, uh, for this chest, there is obviously, uh, what looks to be leather armor. I thought it was a shirt. I mean, same thing, right? Or, <laughs> on, on, like a mushroom. on this chest, on this chest, there seems to be some sort of appendage of an insect. Ooh. This chest obviously seems to depict diamonds. Whereas these two chests you know, re depict fine grains of sand and salt, respectively. Wait, so can I can I say something to everybody like here? Yeah, go for can it. Can I just can I just tell them that I think we should all like make it even and then we each get two chests. You each get two chests. Cause like there's four of them, you know, four of us. Yeah. I don't, yeah. You know. Read the book. You read the book. Give me, uh, give me an Arcana check. <laughs> give me a reading check. <laughs> uh, would I be able to and take I, a look I at the? I would like to use my inspiration for this. You haven't, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's because he did a recap. Yeah. Uh, wait, who who is reading this book? I am. Uh, All of us. I would like to take a look at the book and the situation. I want to take a book. <laughs> I, I want to read the book. Give I, me the book. All right, you all start wrestling for the book to take turns No, 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 it. we're leaving it on the table. We're just all looking at it. From no, no, yeah, ways. yeah, I get it. In, in that case, um, in that case, I want everyone to make an Arcana check, and this will be a group check. All right. Damn! Well, that makes sense. I I worked for the wizard for I don't know how long. <laughs> uh, how right do I work on a check? Oh. Oh. <laughs> that also makes sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't! I have proficiency! <laughs> you are bronze. You have no brains. <laughs> you are not the brains. You, you didn't roll Excuse very well. Excuse me, but what's your intelligence? My intelligence? Well, let me look for it. 13. All right. Oh, I, who, who, who here, <laughs> here's a question. Who here knows how to cast spells? I know Me. how to cast. I think the guy that almost killed a teammate knows how to. And, and one more level B. <laughs> I am the only person who knows how to cast spells. All right. In that case, I want to know all the spells you can cast. 
real quick. I can cast Eldritch Blast, okay. Hex, uh, Toll of the Dead, and Sanctuary. That's it? Yes. All right, great. I said that's it. That's All right. It. Wait a minute. You get Sanctuary as a fucking uh, warlock? Yep. I think, I think I think I think I think it's because than, uh, of his pact of the genie. Yeah. yeah oh, that is broken as all hell. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. Here he is. He goes the wrong class. <laughs> all right. Here is the deal. Uh, you guys take turns reading the book. You ponder it together. It is very obvious that this book is a spellcasting book. It lists six different spells of some kind. The exact nature of these spells are not immediately obvious, but I can tell you. <laughs> I think they're all but those. But I can tell you a few things. First, uh, I can tell you that one, two, three, four, five, and six. If I got everything correct, I can tell you that um, that each of the six spells are written in a different colored ink, seemingly corresponding to the six magical runes you see around the table. I could also tell you that of these spells, uh, they they collectively uh, form five different schools of magic. And I'll tell you what each of those schools are now. So, your the spell covered by the black rune is a divination spell. A home and a what? Divination. I don't know what that means. Basically, each spell is from one of seven different schools of magic that have different uh, themes. Harry Potter, Hogwarts. Kind of. <laughs> uh, the yellow spell uh, seems to come from the Abjuration School of Magic. Oh, that's how you do it. The white spell comes from the Enchantment School of Magic. The blue spell comes from the Conjuration School of Magic. And then finally... The red and yellow spells come from the Transmutation School of Magic. Sorry, did I just say yellow twice? Yeah. Did you? Oh, I did. Probably. I did say yellow twice. Can you go over them. I meant. I meant. Yeah. So the. the I only the, know. Remember the first one. All right. So once once more, black is black is divination. Mm -hmm. Green is abjuration. White is enchantment. Blue is conjuration. And then the other two, yellow and red, are transmutation. Finally, I could tell you, uh, I can tell you, um, Jeff, that none of these spells are spells you know. And based on your combined arcana checks, you will be able to decipher the precise spells for two of them of your choice <laughs> um we should choose personally yeah, yeah i was about to say enchantment or the enchantment ones and one of the transmutation ones all right so that's the white spell and then pick either red or yellow white and red White and red. You know that the white spell is specifically the spell sleep. Mm. And you know that the red spell is specifically the spell featherfall. Okay. So does he know how to do them or did he just know? Okay. No, no, he, he doesn't know how to cast those spells, but he knows what those spells are. Okay. And, and you know everything about those spells. You may ask me anything about them. Uh, what are the, uh, fucking, sorry, my brain is slow right now. What okay. are the material components of those spells? The material components for sleep requires either a pinch of fine sand, rose petals, or a cricket, while the material component for featherfall requires a small feather or piece of down. Okay. Salt or cricket. So we have two options. Do you, uh, a pinch of fine, fine, fine sand, 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 sand. Okay, sorry. Um, do I say that to the party? 
No. <laughs> no? Hey! <laughs> everyone yeah, else is in the dark. Hey, it's, it's, worth, it's worth noting, it's worth noting that everyone, uh, because this was a group check, everyone worked together to know what the, to know the spells were sleep and feather fall. But uh, only Sig might know the exact material components for those spells. Hmm. I'm gonna go um, open up the feather chest and search for feather. Okay, you make Wait, your way can to I open the feather chest. It's you quite large. Yeah, you make your way to the chest that seems to have the feathery symbol on it, and despite its you know massive lid, you are with a little bit of effort able to hoist the chest up, and sure enough, inside the chest is an absolute massive collection of <clears throat> excuse me, an absolute massive collection of various feathers of different birds and 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 other small game oh that's like <clears throat> my kind of stuff it's it's just it's just filled with feathers like to the brim with feathers a few feathers scatter along as you lift the the the, the lid and let the air rush in uh, can i pick the downiest of the feathers <laughs> you can pick the well down is not a, a feather a, pe I mean, a piece of right. down is something else down is a specialized type of feather, is it not? I, I think so? Let me double check. What is a piece of yes, down? Yes, it is. Oh, it's a that was like a down coat or a down comforter. Uh, yeah, you'll you'll grab the one that you think most fits that description. Yes, okay. That's, that's now, my... now, now, while you're doing that, I noticed that Quentin and Ragnar are looking at <laughs> other chests. Uh, are you guys doing anything in particular? I want to open one. Is it locked? Uh, what is yours? Yours is what looks to be a leather chest. No, the chest is not locked. None of them are locked, or just some of them. Uh, well, you you only you're only looking at one chest okay. so far. Open up, baby. All right, you open up the chest, and sure enough, you spot cuts and cuts of piece of small pieces of leather, heavily tanned. They are scraps and smidgens, not enough to make actual armor, but clearly not leather and purely cured, purely cured. All right, you close the lid. Ragnar, are you opening this <laughs> chest of diamonds? Sure, why not? All right. Oh, there's nothing in it. <laughs> All right. You 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 jostle the lid and flip open the uh Sorry, one moment. What the heck? Yep. So you you go ahead and flip open the chest only to see that the chest that would be full of diamonds is instead lined with teeth and it leaps out to attack you. <laughs> Everyone roll initiative. Everyone is surprised as a mimic starts to attack God! Ragnar. Motherfucking damn it. <laughs> you guys are, are the first DM that actually got me to fall for a mimic. What the fuck? How dare you? <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, so yeah, good. Let me try something quick. Let's... I just wanted to see if our rogue friend was here. <laughs> yeah, so, well, what's going on? I have I have question. Yes, go for it. I feel like I should get another roll on it. You know why? Why? Because, like, I'm right next to him. I'd be, like, the first one to react, you know? Well, it's the no, everyone's... Wait, uh, why, are there, why are there two martyrs here? Well, because the uh, token before the one right. that you gave me Let's doesn't put, work. So. Okay, we're gonna put that. You duplicated. Thank, thank you. All right. Uh, all right. Oh, this 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 mimic rolled very poorly. Good thing everyone's surprised. Did everyone roll initiative? Roll poorly. Yeah. All right. Assuming everyone rolled, we're gonna start with the mimic. Because everyone skips their first turn because they're all surprised. Uh, so as I mentioned, the mimic leaps forward and tr uh, attempts to bite Ragnar. Ragnar, you have. Uh, this is going to be yes. What's your armor class? Sixteen. All right. Oh my god! It critically hit. <laughs> all right. Oh, god it's gonna damn it. It's gonna do quite a bit of damage. This might. This might hurt. Um, oh, this coins were hurt. <laughs> That's a 
Oh boy. Uh, I so between between beverage. between between its massive size and the strength at which its teeth pierce through your armor and 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 hit uh vital flesh and the acidic contents of the mimic's mouth that start to coat you and burn you. Oh my god! <laughs> How um, much damage does it do? I um. <laughs> Am, am I rolling a new character, Mr. DM? <laughs> <laughs> He's like being all like, Mr. DM, please. I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be that guy. Um, You're not that guy. I Did it do 18 damage. I, I want to let chat decide <laughs> in, uh, what to do. In um, eight oh. years of do you... <laughs> d, d this would be my first mimic. And yes. you know what? Uh, I think chat's answered. Oh no, zombie! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Full disclosure. Really Full disclosure. He rolled really well on a crit. You should take twenty-three points of damage, which would kill me. That would like... instantly kill you. Uh. Wait, wait, wait. How wait, do we want to handle wait, this? Wait, wait, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I can, I can save him. You can. Yes. How? Tell me. Easy. Oh, help the players. You know what? That would work. I will have the mimic That's reroll. That's an easy way to just fix I will, it. I'll, I'll have the mimic reroll their attack. All right. In that case, they still hit, but they do 11 points of damage. Oh, that's less deadly. And so you are knocked out, but not dead. <laughs> that would kill me. All right, everyone else has a chance to act. Right. As, they, the as they see this massive toothy mimic pierce through uh, the, 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 the intimidating minotaur, wriggle it around like a wild animal and toss it aside. Oh my God. All right, now then. Margaret upon seeing the mimic, uh, I guess awaken? We'll just go ahead and approach it right here, and using the heavy grass spell, we'll take aim and fire. Yeah, take your aim. Uh, right. That strikes and pierces through the uh, pierces into the uh, the mimic. Now the mimic, now having sort of given up its natural form, starts to shift more violently from being a chest to like this amorphous. Uh, monstrous blob, Do you have uh, this, like, and 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 you can see. No, I don't, I don't have a uh, an explicit shape. Like I don't have an explicit true shape. But you can imagine that this chest that appeared rigid and made of solid wood now start to bend and form in unnatural ways. And a, and it and it and it and and the lid recoils as the bolt uh, lurches inside it as the uh, as the chest makes a, an unnatural scream. You're not sure from how, from where it screams, but you know some unearthly noise emanates from the chest as it is struck, and the wood starts to fall apart. Splinters leave the um, leave the chest as it trails along, quickly turning into a vile purplish blood. Jeff. Okay. Uh, Eldritch blast. <laughs> Two steps right or down, I guess. Right if I'm facing the chest. Yeah. Uh, hex the chest. All right, the chest has been hexed. Eldritch blast the chest. The chest has been eldritchly blasted. Eldritch and once blast again. Plus... Oh, right, you do extra damage, don't you? Plus. Oh, yeah. Two oh! Plus two is. Two that's from, uh, my genie yeah. deal. Uh, that's eight damage. Yep, that's just enough to cause the uh, to cause the mimic to go limp. Its wooden form soon becoming an unrecognizable red and purple blob before it ultimately fizzles out completely and turns into a black sludge. All right, Matt dashed to uh, to. It's dead. Yeah. 
It is dead. Ragnar, uh, I have a house rule that I like to run in all of my games. And I think I did it when uh, when Ray was down. Yep, roll which... that saving throw. Yep, I rolled death saving <laughs> roll throws. That death saving. I wrote death saving throws secretly. Ah, fuck. All right. Uh, who else wants to work with... Uh, everyone has a chance to heal Ragnar or use a medicine check. Does anyone even have... Does anyone even have <laughs> medical supplies? Uh, I have food. No one knows about the potions. On no, <laughs> don't you dare say it. I I have food. No, no he can't eat food. Not while he's yeah. unconscious, unless you want to choke him. I can like I can bird feed him. Please don't. No. You're knocked out. <laughs> Quen Quen Quentin, any ideas? Hmm. Ideas. <laughs> Mimics are. Deadly. Mimics are nasty, and this is why I always have Mage Hand. I guess just roll a medicine check. Can I do that? Yeah, give me a medicine check. All right. Seven. All right. Between between Martyr and Zombie and Jeff again, um, <laughs> you guys will have rolled enough medicine to eventually stabilize Ragnar. Ragnar, uh, unless unless you have unless you have a way to actually heal Ragnar, Ragnar will wake up in an hour. All right, wake up in an hour, bud. Can I just like right. elbow him? Do we decide to take a short rest? Like I want to jump up in the air and just elbow him in the stomach. That ought to sure. wake him up. Give me an attack roll. <laughs> Wait, I'm attacking him? Yes. That is him. Right attack. Yes. Give me an attack roll. What if what if this doesn't even wake him up? It won't. You're gonna what? kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind, I thought I was gonna wake him up. No. In fact, attacking someone when they're unconscious <laughs> gives them an automatic uh, failure. They fail. Yeah. Oh, oh I mean I I uh, Don't yeah. worry, I'm not I'm not that mean. <laughs> Even though it would be a good way to teach zombie how death saves work. No, I'm good, I'm good. Nah. <laughs> uh, you know, if the if the healer wasn't dead, I would say go for it. <laughs> That's right. Oh, of course the healer is the one that goes down. <laughs> All right, G give me an attack roll, zombie. I said no. <laughs> you said you said you're gonna elbow him. Don't take it back. Hit him. I say I'm gonna do a lot of stuff. Don't be a wuss. I say I'm gonna do a lot of stuff. Hit him. Do it, pussy. Do it. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> You're right, I won't. I, <laughs> you won't. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, one, all right, there's, there's Quentin. There's something you'll have to learn about D&D. &D. Don't say things you're not actually doing. <laughs> I've done that so many times. Like unreasonable amounts of times. All right, you, 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 you attempt to jostle Ragnar. It does, not, it does not wake him up, but as you jostle him, his belt pouch slips open and a collection of various vials of differing colors spill out <laughs> what colors shall shall i go through the list please yes. do not do not do so, not describe what they are just tell them the colors uh there are two red potions two green potions two orange potions and one blue potion i vote green i'm i'm off doing something else yeah, I'm out here trying to retrieve the bolt. <laughs> Let's just give him all of them. Take all the vials and pop them up and just shove them in the center. <laughs> do like the placebo, the snake oil version. Like, I'm sure one of these will work. <laughs> he overdoses. <laughs> no, but I'll, I'll do the green one. You'll do the green one. All right. You take uh, a green one. Wait, wait, wait. I want to talk to the robot and see what he thinks first. Can't just, can't just do it off mind. Of course. Oops. I almost accidentally deleted the entire floor page. No one mentioned that. <laughs> For those of you who want to know, give me either an arcana or nature check. All right. Uh, all right. Wait, is that am I one of those? Well, no, not 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 you, Jeff. You're not dealing with the potions. What? Okay, well. <laughs> I'm dealing with the potions. You are dealing with the potions. Give me a roll. Damn. 16. All right, pick one type of potion. I will tell you what it is. Green. Green is poison. Damn. 
You use it to coat a weapon and it will do poison damage to people you strike with it. The poison lasts one minute. Mm. All right, gonna check the... Can I take one? I mean, no one's stopping you. I mean, Ragnar's right. certainly not stopping you. <laughs> uh, let's check the red one then. The red are, one are is you a... Gonna... Are you the gonna red... take one zombie? Yeah, I took one. All right. All right I took one, let me, two, let me, two. Let me, let me give you the exact yeah. reading. Uh, green is a basic poison. Apply to a weapon or three pieces of ammo. The poison lasts one minute after applied to a weapon or ammo. Whenever you hit with a poisoned weapon or ammo, the target must take make a DC constitution saving throw or take an additional 1d4 poison damage. The red potion <laughs> is a vial of alchemist's fire. Make an improvised ranged attack at 20 feet, a dexterity check versus the target's armor class. If you do, uh, assuming you hit, the target takes 1d4 fire damage and an additional 1d4 fire damage at the start of their turn unless the target spends an action and performs a DC 10 dexterity check to remove the flames. Oh, shoot! Zombie, thank you for coming. <laughs> okay, so wait, which ones are left? We know green and red. You know green and red, which means that you don't know blue. Ah, oh, uh, no! No! You you don't wow. know you don't know orange and you don't know blue. Hmm. See now I'm more mm -hmm. curious what the fucking orange is now. Yeah, because I'm thinking like Minecraft, you know, like mm, fire resistance. Alright. <laughs> it's not our color check. Blue. <laughs> oh okay. Yeah, 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 I got you. I'm pretty good with oh. potions, you know. I, I, I have, I of course. Never mind. No, you're, you're out of Arcana. What? No, you, you guys, you guys have, you guys have investigated the potions as much as you could. You'll need help if you want to identify any more of them. Let you me could, make an investigation you, check. You can, please. you can, you can also, you can also always just use a potion on yourself. Admin. Well, that's a problem because I don't drink. <laughs> Admin. Yes. Let me do an investigation check. For what purpose? Blue. I want to investigate the blue potion. All right, give me an investigation check. Uh, Jeff, I assume <laughs> that you take the feather and place it on the red magic circle. Yes, I would At like 15. to then Eldritch Blast every other chest. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna blow up the stuff in it. All right, uh, give me the order in which you, him? give me the order in which you Eldritch Blast the chest as uh, as Quentin performs investigation. Quentin, you, you investigate the blue potion. The blue potion, you said, right? Yeah. All right. You investigate the blue potion. The potion feels cool and soft in your hand. Lifting it, it smells... Uh, like blue? I, 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 <laughs> it smells oddly pleasant, like spring water. Hmm. Uh, as, you, as you attempt... As you attempt to blast, uh, blast. As you attempt to investigate the orange potion, uh, as you as you investigate the orange potion, Jeff s s sends an eldritch blast into this chest, which screams and rides. Roll initiative. Well, actually, don't roll initiative. Roll a uh, damage. Okay. Um, four plus. Plus I will. I will. For ten. for sake of expediency, the chest will be surprised. And between everyone else's actions, let's just say that this chest gets mited yeah, before I, it I can do ten. any lasting damage. I did ten on the uh, ten, and then nine. that was an enemy. Yeah, you found another mimic. <laughs> <laughs> that <Nice>. was smart. <laughs> I did 10 damage. Jesus! Our DM wanted to kill us! Honestly, <laughs> you got one of us. Yeah, it, 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 it dies instantly from your blast, actually. <laughs> ten, so these ten, mimics ten, have nothing ten, in them, right? And then... No, the, mimic, the mimics dissolve into a black sludge when they die. They didn't okay. have any treasure in them. Jesus Christ, my second one did 17 damage. <laughs> yeah. Your, uh, by, by the way, to skip everything else, you Eldritch Blast every other chest. And despite the occasional hull blasted through some of them, along with salt and maybe a few feathers being scattered by your damage, none of the oh, other chests seem to react. Okay, good. 
Also, I'm only doing the ones that I know we haven't checked yet. I'm just doing the ones that I've numbered one, two, three, and four. Yeah. Oh, well, it's, wor it's, wor it's, wor it's worth noting, technically, uh, I don't believe Quentin ever actually opened this chest yet. No, I didn't. The Mimic attack thought, before Quentin had a chance to open I that. I thought um, Strom did. No. I don't think Strom did. I was, I was with uh, you, Jeff. Okay, I'll blast that one, too. All right, what it doesn't fuck? react. I'm right next to it. <laughs> it does not react. Okay. It looks like there are no more... It looks like none of the chests are Mimics anymore. All right. Okay. No more mimics. I want to give the big guy the blue potion. All right. You take the blue potion and gently, um, well, as gently as Quentin shove it down would do throat. it. All right. You shove it down his throat. Glug, Get glug, it. motherfucker. <laughs> Drink. All right. Uh, I believe it's 2d4 plus 2. Um, Ragnar, oh. you jolt back awake. You recover 8 health. Nice. <laughs> Man, I was dead there for a second. <laughs> How much health is he at? Yeah, uh, he's at eight health. You'll you'll oh, okay. you'll 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 note, Jeff, that of the chest that you damaged, it, it sort of makes sense. The chest depicting pearls and diamonds, the most valuable of material components, were actually traps. Man, good thing we were missing a teammate. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go grab some sand. I wondered how All that right. would have went if Ray was here. You open the chest and and I would have fucking and, laughed. And and you and you and you not and you not only uh, you don't you don't even need to open the chest. Your eldritch blast yeah, from earlier caused a hole to spot to to burst through one of the corners. Sand has been spilling out of the interior of the chest for quite some time. I can see other things, right? What do you mean by other things? I, I can see the other things falling out of the chests. What other things? <laughs> the DM's blown, confused. <laughs> I've blown holes in the chest. Right. I yeah. can see the components falling out of the other chests. Mo yeah, some of them. So, so, so out of the, out of the, out of the chests you've blown up, you're able to see the sand pouring out of this chest, the feathers flying away from this chest. You're able to see a viscous. Uh, a viscous uh, gray fluid oozing out of this chest. The other chests don't seem to have anything obvious. You either shot them at the top of the chest so you can't see what's falling down, or they're sturdy enough that they're not spilling out. So wait, was the one I'm in front of opened or the shot? Or... It was shot, but it was shot at the top. Okay. Uh, which which means it. that, yep, you peer over it, you open it, uh, you find a various collections of, like I said, Appendages of um, of different insects. Uh, well, not different Ooh. insects. Appendages of insects. Being a ranger, you can easily identify that these are the legs, the hind legs of a grasshopper. Mm hmm. No, oh, it's just grasshopper legs. Yeah. Oh. Okay. If if you if you if you if uh, if you weren't undead and therefore didn't need to eat, they uh, are nutritious in a pinch. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna... I don't even breathe. <laughs> I'm gonna put sand on white. All right, you you put the you put the you grab a handful of sand, a pinch of sand, and rest it upon the white circle. And sure enough, similar to the feather, the sand starts to hover uh, gently, just a, just an inch or two above the circle. Can I uh, roll Arcana to? Uh understand the white goop and what yeah. what spell it might be the material component of so uh, i can't give you a direct correlation between the uh between the component and the spell and if you could google this but don't it's part of the fun um but i can tell you unequivocally what each of the components are um uh martyr due to your construct background you're easily able to identify this silvery liquid as mercury uh mm -hmm. actually quite poisonous to the touch but if you're careful you can carry it in a in a vial or a water skin container you have an empty <laughs> vial it. you have an empty vial considering that uh that quentin just used that potion of healing uh you have your feathers here your pieces of cured leather here you have your grasshopper legs here your sand here and then finally this chest appears to contain a white grain 
You might take it, you might, uh, uh, Jeff or Ragnar might place it to their tongue and realize that it is salt. Okay, salt, got it. Um, hey, Felix, howdy, rowdy, thanks for checking out the stream. We are, we are, we are I... near the end of our little puzzle segment of this dungeon. This is a puzzle? <laughs> I want you to know that I am not searching any of, this, any of these up, but because I can't search, or because I can't roll Arcana for this, I have to go by my instinct, and I know, I know more than uh, I think you're, Jeff you're, would. You're, 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 you're free to, you're free to roleplay this as, as, as well as you'd like. Um... You can you can you 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 can role play it as you like in sort in sorts of mixing and matching and trying to understand either through instinct or logical reasoning or trial and error uh, where the components go. I would like to put a leather scrap on green. All right, you place a leather scrap on the green uh, on the uh, on the green circle, which lights which uh, again hovers. Um. And to answer Felix's question, uh, I did I did see what you were writing down, Felix. I do think it's very good stuff. Um, some of it, I I uh, I know you're still learning the rules, so some of it, I think, like there was a certain kind of damage that didn't make sense. But it's an incredible start. I really like it. So, because I absolutely know a lot uh, as far as spells go. <laughs> I'm also trying You're, not to metagame here. You you are uh, you are you however, are free to use your big player brain. Okay. Uh, however, can I read the language that is in this book? Everyone can read the language that is in that book. Yellow so and then it's each common. spell would have its material. Oh, components. sorry, sorry. Right. It, it, you 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 can read the spell, but there's arcane symbols that you don't quite understand. Oh, okay. Mm, okay. That's why I had you roll Arcana check. It's not—it's not a language thing. It's a—it's an iconography thing. Then I'm gonna take a wild guess because I'll let the Warforge play with the Mercury. All right. Is, I'm is... gonna take some of the salt and place it on the blue square. Okay, you take some salt and you place it on the blue square. Similar to all the other, so basically every time you place a, a component on, it's going to uh, glow or, 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 or hover just uh, an inch over the magic circle. And uh, this, uh, this green thing that is on the yellow circle, are you putting the mercury there? No, green is a bug leg. Oh, the, the grasshopper's leg, okay. All right. And that le that means that our black magic circle is the only one remaining that would require the mercury. Well, Martin will go ahead and approach Quentin and uh, simply as the vial, hand it over. Why? For the mercury. Hmm. <laughs> Do I even have it? Yeah, actually, who has it by chance? No, no, I thought I shoved it down his uh, throat. <laughs> it's either Quentin or Ragnar has it. I assume Quentin has it. But I shoved it down his throat. Yeah, but it's not like you're going to go ahead and force <laughs> I, him I left it in his throat. <laughs> you, you, no, you didn't force feed him floor. glass. You, 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 you just, you just forced him to chug it instead of like doing it gently. Man. I'm going to be honest, right? Yeah. I don't know where I put it. I left it on the floor. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> All right. Because I feel like if I did like an actual vile thing, if I was like a real character, I feel like I'd throw it behind me and not even think about it. But I don't want to say that. And then DM's like, oh, no, that's what he did. It shatters. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you take the Mercury and there's only one rune left, the black rune. Okay. After placing the black, after placing the black rune, you you note uh, all of the all the components hover over the magic circles, but nothing else seems to happen. Based on your understanding of arcana and rituals, you can intuit that you have four you have six different spells of six different components, and you have four of them correct. Two of them are incorrect and need to be swapped. 
Do we know which two are uh, incorrect? I Not inherently. I gotta get uh, green and blue. Personally. They're the only ones I super... It's either green and blue. Blue, blue is uh, transmutation, right? Blue is conjuration. Blue would be a conjuration spell, yes. And then what's green? Green is abjuration. And uh, green is an abjuration spell, yes. I think we might actually have to switch them. Yeah. The green spells blue. I'm thinking of. Green and blue? Yeah. No, let's swap green and blue. All right. So I will note, the moment you remove the salt from your blue circle, the, the, the magical strength remains the same. So still four spells correct. However, when you remove the green, the leather from the green circle, the magic weakens slightly. Can I do something? Okay. The magic remains the, the magic remains weak <laughs> as you swap the components. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta put the leather scrap back. Can I do something? Alright. The leather scrap, leather scrap oh, goes back. The leather scrap goes back. The magic continue the magic strengthens slightly. <laughs> Uh, Quentin, Maddie. are you planning to do so? Yeah, what are you what are you planning? <laughs> I want to lick the salt. All Just right. Lick the other salt. <laughs> no, <laughs> this salt. All right. You lick the salt. Um, Maybe it's magical you, salt. You you grab you grab you manage to catch a few grains in your tongue. <laughs> um, you know what? Have you, have you ever gonna... actually had like tasted pure salt before? No. And like my character it is the or... most retching thing in the world. Yeah, like, but my taste buds on my character like it. ruined. All right, I mean he licked paint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here's paint here's what like I... mold and spores on it, and you're surprised I'm licking salt. All right, like you you lick magically charged salt, the results of which are completely unpredictable. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I can bust. <laughs> Wild magic search. Turn him into a fucking plant. Please. <laughs> As you lick the salt, you feel your... You feel your body start to retch. Something oh no. wells up inside your stomach and you can... You 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 do your best to hold it back, but eventually you find the, the, uh, the sickness is too strong and you must regurgitate. As you, as you do so... You do not, uh, you, you don't expect anything to come out since you don't eat, but nevertheless, <laughs> a vile black liquid emanates from out of you and spills onto the floor. You slip and fall prone. <laughs> it was so worth it. So I'm just lying in like a puddle of blood. Right those, 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 those who are arca <laughs> those who are canically inclined realize that Quentin just vomited and slipped on a pile of his own grease. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put. All right. So I'm gonna... on blue and salt on black. <laughs> Maybe this is maybe this is the answer. <laughs> the black the black pile goes somewhere. So you casted grease, which is a transmutation spell. Ooh. <laughs> what if this actually like, solves it? All right. So where is this salt going? Because there's can still salt I, left. Can I actually remove the uh, insect leg? You can remove the inset leg. When you do so, the magic weakens slightly. Okay, putting it back. <laughs> yep. Uh, damn. Through, through a slight amount of trial and error, you can repeat this process and you would eventually find out that the magic that is not hey, being hey, weakened it's black. <laughs> is the mercury. Yes. <laughs> that was right. And so switch the salt and mercury. That completes the ritual. The magic at its full strength starts to glow fantastically what? What and coal is that? And coalesce into I I'm looking this up. What spell uses salt? <laughs> I am with I am saddened by my own. I'll give you in spell. I'll give you inspiration if you guess. Remember, it's a divination spell. Divination. Uh, by the way, a key forms at the center of the table. Well, it was the center before you moved it. Now the key, now the key, 
falls unceremoniously offset from the table. Good job. By the way, yellow was long strider. Yellow or was jump. actually jump. Jump? Sorry, jump. Yeah, yes. Sorry. So, jump so, was... so for the, for those of you who are curious, the black spell was comprehend languages. Damn it! I was about to say I just looked it up too. The green spell wait. was mage armor. The yellow so, spell wait, was never... jump. The white spell was sleep. The blue spell was tensor's floating disc, and the Jesus. red spell was featherfall. <laughs> wait, tensor's uses mercury? It does. Ugh. So I didn't learn any spells? No, you didn't learn any spells. Although you no. did learn the material components for all these spells. Ooh, okay. You now have only... a key. Uh, use key to unlock door? <laughs> I don't use know how to use key. Door. Use key on door. Key is used on door. By the way, was anyone going to tell uh, Ragnar? What fucking vials he has? <laughs> He's only missing the blue ones. Or are you all gonna leave him in the dark? I'm not gonna describe what they are to him. Uh, so can someone help me out of the puddle? No. No. Okay. You 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 can stand up. You can stand up from the puddle if you what just if I are slip again? careful. <laughs> well, just don't. <laughs> I'm grabbing my rock. I'm going. All right. <laughs> Stairs. Stairs to the next stairs. level of the dungeon. Stealth. Stealth. Everyone roll stealth. I'm sure you don't want that. I'll just stay back here. Man, I wanna, I wanna say something, but I'm just gonna roll first. Uh, yep. Sorry. I. I'll, I'll say, I'll say what I'm gonna say after. My first one, I accidentally put fucking expertise in. I rolled a 14 stealth. Ragnar rolled a seven. I got nine. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna use I'm gonna use your initiative for this. So I can keep yeah, and... yeah. What's up? So my stealth is a nine. Let's keep that clear, okay? Yes, your stealth is nine. But please I was don't point out that please I... don't roll oh. down the stairs again. No, no, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was gonna point out that I might have a disadvantage on that. Why? Because I'm all looped up. No, no. no. I, I I I make a note. I make a note of that. You do not have disadvantage. Okay. The the grease the grease will over the over the next minute dissipate. From from the ground and from your body. Oh okay. Smarter, are you rolling stealth or are you going stealthless? Oh, I'm. You got stealthless. Okay, there you yeah. go. Cool. Sorry, I must have not seen it. All right, let's bring you all into the next floor, into the next wing of our dungeon. My first staircase, I didn't roll down. Thank God for small miracles. <laughs> As if I didn't just throw up on myself and <laughs> slip in. Okay. Send me to the next floor! I'm really, really glad I blew up all those chests. <laughs> That's totally fair. I'm gonna, I'm I, gonna wish, like... I wish Ray was here because then all I can think of is like Ray go oh, straight Ray, to that Ray, one. Ray would, Ray get would've... attacked and then be like, uh oh, and like let us kill it and then go to the pro one. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. I I I kind of I kind of am sad that the rogue wasn't here for that. Um, Man, there is there, before before, before we bring you to the next floor. Um, you are slightly troubled, Marger, because after completing that puzzle, after completing that ritual, you expected to see your master on the other side of the door. Yet he's nowhere to be found. And, and because of that, you are sort of forced, and, and you can of course, nar you have narrative control over this, of course, but you are forced to, to go to sort of your default autonomous, uh, lot, you know, you no know, algorithm. So you're now sort of free to do whatever you want and no longer bound by your master's original orders. You're telling me the robot has free will? Excuse me? I mean, you don't have to believe it. You could be you could be racist. <laughs> Tell me this robot has rights? Oh, no. Eventually, city grows in just three spaces. Plus 10 jump. Takes two turns. Have you guys seen, like, anybody do that? The... Have, like, a character that's racist? I have, yeah. Oh, yep. How'd that yeah. go? Uh, uh, I mean, 
it de really it depends on the setting. It depends on the setting and the campaign and the story you're trying to tell. Obviously, it, obviously it's not like fun. <laughs> but yeah. It's... I mean, I've played a ranger who uh, definitely hated anyone that was of devil origins. Oh, like a fiend? So, well, it was yeah. also part of his backstory. So it's like we had one tiefling in the party and we just never saw eye to eye. But it made for hilarious moments. Because, you know, you can make that shit somewhat fun. Uh, I guess. All right. As long as everyone agrees to it. So, so yeah, as... as long as it's like two, the least the two parties are okay with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, oh man, I have a lot of notes for this. Let's go ahead and get that here so I can read what the heck's going on. There you go. <laughs> All right. As you walk down the stairs the despite going deeper into the dungeon and the light starting to fade one of you might be carrying a torch in order to help light your way I do. you you find yep. that as you make a turn there is suddenly a light at the end of the staircase furthermore uh feel free to roll perception but everyone hears um the soft Murmur of civilization at the bottom. What? There's a hustle and bustle. Many oh. voices are speaking out, and you can't make out any particular phrase, but based on just the dialect and their diction, it sounds like common. Sounds like we got company down here. Can I lick him? Base, Can base. So you you under, you understand this much, martyr. Uh, Jeff, based on your perception, you can actually kind of make out numbers. You think there's maybe half a dozen people there. Sounds like six or seven or five. That's a wide range of numbers. Three. Two. One. N I. Wait. No! Imaginary numbers! <laughs> it's about half a dozen. <laughs> so. Are we talking about a baker's dozen or regular <laughs> dozen? Six Pardon me while six I eat. and a half. <laughs> I don't know that there's a half a person down there, but I'd like it. I mean, we can make half a person. Oh, we will. Let's go down, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You make your way down. Move to the left of the area. Move to the oh, there is left it. and down. And assuming you attempt to be stealthy. We are all You see that there's stealthy. there's you see the you see that the corridors <laughs> as you make the turn sort of the transition from a roughy <clears throat> Sorry, from a rough, rocky outcropping covered in soot and grime to a smooth sandstone. Clearly, uh, cl clearly, um, masoned by a professional. The stairs change styles to match. And at the bottom of the stairs, you can see a curtain of green, it looks like seaweed, maybe kelp covering a large expanse. You can barely make it out unless you, as Jeff and Martyr do, try to peek through the corridor. Give me a perception check. Pay no attention to the adventurers behind the curtain. <clears throat> All right. Damn, I'm just getting consistent 13s. <laughs> As you do your best to see through the um, see through the seaweed wall, the seaweed curtain, without bringing attention to yourself, you can see this far, and you can see several 
humanoids of aquatic origin. There's they a seem crab. to be they seem to be <laughs> minding their own business. One of them one of them uh, caters to a small pool of water. The other one stands guard over uh, what looks to be an impromptu farm. Looks like they're growing potatoes. A crab scutters around, picking off pieces of of, of of dirt and other loose material to shove in its mandibles. What do you do? I will shout out to them. Hey, is it safe in there? All right. The stirring of conversation stops suddenly as you call out to them. You hear someone from a distance. You hear you hear one. Uh, you hear one. Per you hear this person call out in a language that you may not understand. Does anyone here know Aquin? Nope. No. Nope. Cool. That's a language. <laughs> uh, yeah, spoken by aquatic creatures typically, like merfolk and and. Uh, Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, it may also be replaced with Sylvan uh, ah, or some kind of Elven. Yeah, uh, and then you hear a voice come from your left, outside of you, uh, in common, uh, say, Travelers, please enter. It is safe here. Well, you heard the man. All right. Yeah. All right. I guess All right. Let's just approach with wary optimism. You step cautiously through the curtain, and I am going to reveal a bunch of stuff. Yay, bunch of stuff! <laughs> and for the first time, I don't attack. <laughs> Thank God for small miracles. <laughs> Look at the difference between the small miracles between us. And we're all surprised he didn't like attack anybody. I'm getting surprised that I didn't roll down the stairs. It's almost like there's character development. <laughs> yeah, mine's the best, obviously. All right, still some character development left to go, I see. Whoa, whoa. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Damn. <laughs> um, Got him. Ex excuse me, please finish the thing. Where's my... Is it this? There you go. All right. This is what you see. A large expanse of a sort of white stone almost beachfront meets your eyes it's sort of unimaginable the kind of um the kind of place you find yourself in four leagues under the dungeon dirt has been dirt has been formed to collect various uh farmed goods and um the ponds seem to be impromptu homes for the merfolk some of which uh, happily lounge around in the rocky coast. Uh, one merfolk stands guard behind a, um, a, a beautiful waterfall. An underground waterfall somehow adorns the, uh, the far end of this, uh, of this small merfolk village. And a deep well can be seen <laughs> on the north it. side. The man here, dressed in a resplendent, uh, I believe a cloak. Yes, a resplendent cloak that depicts, uh, whose back depicts the form of a manta ray. Moves towards you, clearly appearing to be the leader and speaks on behalf of the rest of the merfolk. Uh, before he speaks, I'll just give a gentle bow. Out of respect. All right. You bow and the merfolk bows in turn and says, greetings travelers. Welcome to our small quaint but proud village. I suppose that the goblins gave you quite trouble making your way here. Oh, not at all. <laughs> if you could call it trouble. Might I ask what happened to those? Oh, they're not here anymore. They left. That's good news. Uh, yeah, they, they won't be coming back. Yeah, they left for the uh, afterlife. We'll put it that way. You mean they were slain? 
Is that yours? I mean, they, was that they your started it? Was that your doing? The merfolk ass, slightly incredulous. Yeah, I mean, they started it. They mm. didn't start it. We started it, but we started. Uh, <laughs> they started it. <laughs> well, technically, the most recent one started that fight. The first one didn't start the fight. Yeah, the first one I did. <laughs> I mean, that was because of our. We wanted his bed. <laughs> rogue friend that uh doesn't seem to be here right now. Mm. No, that was that was me. I started it. I was worried he was gonna go get like an entire city of. What's done this well? Well, before 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 you can ask so many questions, the merfolk. I asked one. <laughs> I well, so people have said like four different things, and the merfolk need to respond to the first thing before he answers your question. <laughs> um. <clears throat> The merfolk, uh, the merfolk turned to speak to the rest of his tribe, and he says, "There is no, no, there is no longer need to fear the goblin, the goblin, uh, the goblin prince. Is this is a cause for celebration?" And the merfolk continued to uh, begin to cheer. With that, Mario will look back to who, uh, uh, Jeff and Rang Ragnar, okay? Right? Yep. And just <laughs> say. You have slain a goblin prince? Apparently. I didn't know there was a prince. I mean, he looked like an asshole to me. So well, he thing? was he was quite villainous to us. He would, uh, and, and, and the merfolk explains, like, they would, they would take our dear beloved crab folk, our wonderful pets, and vilely hunt, murder them for sport, and even devour them. The vicious, cruel beings they are. As he says this, one of the crabs starts to move towards the boss. Or starts to move towards the leader. They had this really deep water system that I started to swim down into. Oh, you must mean the pond in the second floor. Or, well, you must be, you must be the pond in the goblin's lair. We actually yeah. are aware of that, and... That's how they would go to make their 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 hunts. Of course, some of our crabs, the lovable as they are, are perhaps none the wiser and would often find themselves lost and travel upstream. It goes on for a while. Does that lead down here? It certainly does. We would be able to show you if you would like. By now, the crab has made his way next to the uh, merfolk and starts to tug at his cloak. Uh, yeah, I, I'd like to know where that comes out. Just, you know, curiosity's sake, because I kind of stopped partway down because I needed to get back up to my, my pals here, you know? Yes, it, it it is it is deceptively deep, going two full levels down, and difficult to make your way past due to this waterfall. And the, the merfolk continues to tug at his cloak, and he kind of shoes the crab away. Oh, not now, I'm treating our honored guests. The, the crab continues to tug and eventually pinches the merfolk, the merfolk leader's shin and the merfolk jumps. Ah! Oh, pardon me. This must be... <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it, fella? And the, and the, and the crab seems to... Seems to click and, and speak somehow. Communicates to the merfolk. The leader listens intently. Yes, I see. You were... Pardon? They what? During, during, <laughs> during this time, Mario just says, "What else did you happen to do in there?" I mean, nothing that they can prove. That's not Minotaur. Yeah. Is it true what <laughs> what my beloved Pinchykins has said? Did you eat? <laughs> Our beloved pet? In my defense, I did not know he was a pet and he was already cooked. I will want you to roll a persuasion check with advantage. Because <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Right, so it's not deception. Yeah, but why advantage? Because he's I... because you he killed the goblin prince. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. you got someone in his favor. 17? Oh, nice. yes. 17 works. The merfolk prince 
considers your uh, appeal. You know what's funny? I got a little close to them just so I could like maybe sneak up behind one, just like fucking stab them just in case it went bad. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> you you are you are considered an honest guest, so they would not they would, over there. they would they would not have they would not have stopped you. They would have noticed you, but they would have paid you no mind. Uh, the Murf the, the the Murfolk leader states, well, despite the act of barbarianism, we will of course overlook the transgressions considering the deeds you have done for us. Yay. If you still need, uh, the, 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 the merfolk still seems, you know, amicable to you, but knowing of your deeds seems to be, uh, quite a bit more guarded. He says, if you, if you must, we, we will still, uh, see you, uh, uh, through the water. You were interested in looking at the path to the pond quite above us. Seems a bit more regal, a bit more distant than he was before. Where you were, where, where he regarded you as old friends, uh, just a few moments ago, he now treats you as convenient strangers. It's a shame I didn't do anything. Um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I was sure that Crab was going to talk about the, uh... wait, how do they know that I ate them? When all the crabs there were. The crabs, crabs were in the cages. Apparently. All the crabs were in the cages. How would the crabs get out? Did the crabs let the other, <laughs> crabs, the other crabs in the pool? You'd <laughs> think the there. crabs would know about him You're... trying to put oil in the water. Your crab <laughs> you as you as characters and as players don't know how. Fair. What's in the well? What's in the well? Actually, uh, when you go to the well, Quentin, uh, you have dark vision? Do I? I think so. Where would that be again? It would be in your racial features. Racial? I keep getting over that. Okay, I don't know where that's at. Oh, racial traits? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> right, catch I'm in a not sec, seeing Felix. it, but I feel like I have it. I feel like we talked about I, this at the start. I feel no, like, I feel like, no. I feel like emotionally <laughs> I have dark vision. No, because at the start when we like enter, like uh, the very I'll, first I'll, play I'll check. Game, I'll I've... check in a moment. Okay. I will check at this moment. Uh, it, racial it, traits, favorite enemy, natural explorer. Wanderer. I'll pass him a torch. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't have dark vision, but with a torch, you could easily see what's going on down there. Oh, I have 10 you, torches. I'm fine. You see, you, you see with a torch. The well actually does not contain any water. Instead, it contains multiple, it contains a little bit of water, but it's not clean or fresh spring water. Instead, it seems to be a birthing pod for all sorts of bacteria, algae, and other small microorganisms. At the bottom oh of the well are an infestation of crabs that make their feast on these, on these, uh, on these small morsels. Can I be honest? Yeah. I want to lick it. Can't lick that far down. I'll jump down there you, just you, to lick it. There, 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 there is a collection of algae and bacteria that form along the rim <laughs> of the of the well. You can yes. lick it. dot com. I want to lick the edge. Give me a, give me a dexterity saving throw. He about falling. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you reach, as you lean your head over to lick the inner wall of the well for a delicious slurp of <laughs> algae, one of the crabs, not knowing any better, spots you trying to take its morsel and tries to snip at your tongue. Ah. You pull your head back at just the right time. Damn. <laughs> you did manage to catch a lick. It's, um, quite salty and briny. I want to do something. Yes. Are these crabs important yeah. to these guys? Can I ask that? Uh, they're important? Uh, obviously they are, if you were listening to their previous conversation. Oh, I, I'm over here by the well. The, crab, the crabs are referred to as their beloved pets, and they almost oh, threw a fit knowing that Ragnar had eaten one. Can I be honest? I was about to kill one. That would have been, that that, that that would have been really, really funny. <laughs> I was about to say, it snipped at me. I fucking pulled out my bone shit. It would be so funny. Please do it. 
Please do. No, it. no. <laughs> yeah. I learned that they matter. The 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 the, the, mer the merfolk down here would would la would have laughed seeing you jerk your head oh, back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And totally. been like, oh yes, aren't they just aren't they you. just wonderfully <laughs> playful? Um, can I talk to big man on campus? Yes, of course. So so boy. so so to summarize, sort of to give a, a bit of a summary, we can, we'll role play in more detail as you like. But the merfolk will, the merfolk are considered to be indifferent to you. Uh, which means that uh, you are, you are fine to cross the waterfall, although they won't give you explicit help. Um, you are free to, to move, uh, to, 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 to go into the waterfall on your own. Uh, you are free to explore. And you're free to ask questions and, and discuss willingly. I would like to ask about uh, how to progress down into the fifth floor. Yes, so the merfolk leader will uh, explain briefly how you can do so. And the merfolk would urge you to come with him to the waterfall. All right, I'm on the way. What is everyone else doing? I'm at the other well. It's uh, it, it acts it, the the other well behaves similarly as the other well, except even more overgrown with algaes and even more densely populated with crabs. Ooh, you're you're messing with me here. You're messing with me. Yes, the you're the, me here. the leader the leader urges you to walk through the waterfall. All right, walk through the waterfall. <laughs> I want to lick it. I All right. I also like to ask um, in the meantime of the walking. Uh, if he knows what's going on down there at all. Down in here? In floor five. In the four in floor five. I will answer that once I'm done revealing this section of the map. As you walk through the waterfall, you find that the back of the waterfall is not actually covered in Man, a rocky outcropping like as it suggest but instead hides a vast underwater network glowing with the with the luminescent glow of um of coral that line the walls and the floors you can see that a large underwater cavern lies ahead you can see and that to your right yes hi question what's up so all of it this is like almost underwater right yeah. So since my character doesn't breathe, can I be underwater for like ever? You, because your character does not need to breathe, your character does not make checks to uh, to avoid suffocating underwater, which gives you okay, a distinct so, advantage. <laughs> so I'm good underwater for like ever. I don't uh, need to come back up for. Yeah, you probably are. Uh, although I would say that being whipped around by watery torrents for extreme periods of time can still cause exhaustion. Okay, that's fine. I just want to make sure I don't have to like come back up for air every now and then. You don't. As long as you don't take like a long rest inside the water, you're fine. <laughs> I'll sleep under here. Yeah. Everyone else who does need to breathe, uh, I can explain to you the rules of how moving and breathing underwater work. Oh, but yes, the the um, <laughs> the merfolk explains that the merfolk explains that past the. Um, that past the Actually. underwater caverns, to the right lies deeper and deeper underwater network. You will find several patches of air that you can use to breathe. And the southern and easternmost corner corner of the cavern lies a guard that uh, lies a merfolk that guards a ladder leading to the next level of the dungeon. The merfolk explains that um, the merfolk explains that the goblin king lives uh deeper into the dungeon and using uh their their engineering of this sort of underwater cavern they have been able to keep the goblin king at bay and keep him from reaching the rest of his colleagues above ground up till now but the goblin king is very powerful they dare not go and confront him directly they're willing to offer a reward if you're willing to go and defeat the Goblin King in their stead. Uh, real quick, how is this water gonna work with my uh, with Rocky Four? 
Um, that's a really good question. You are you um, you would basically be walking along the ocean floor, and you would be encumbered, which means that you would move at Rocky Thor in the you would move at you would move at a particularly slow speed. Your speed is already halved because you are swimming in water. I assume you have no swim speed, and because you are heavily encumbered by carrying Rocky, your speed will be reduced uh by I think ten feet again. So this ain't gonna happen. I think the encumbrance goes first, so you'd have a speed of 10 feet. So this ain't gonna happen. I can put Rocky into the water uh, skin? Genie's vessel, yes, and tell is the Ro future. Is Rocky big enough to fit? Is Rocky small enough to fit in a genie's vessel? I don't vessel? think there's a limit. Because uh, if he puts it in him and then shrinks down, right? No. Yeah, we've gone through this. It's fine. I'll just tell them to take care of Rocky for. Because if it's in him and he like leaves it in there, it will like be normal I, I, size. I, I, I forget if there's a, there, there might not be a limit because we did the yeah. same thing with all the gold. Because it was like a magical thing. It's a 20 foot radius cylinder, 20 feet high. Yeah, you could you could put Rocky in there. Yeah, just put Rocky in there. Go grab Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll just put Rocky in there. Okay. All right, you, you grab go back for him. You grab Rocky four and and uh, either with a flourish or unceremoniously, however you narrate. You you secure him into your water skin. I just touch Rocky for vanish. The, mer the merfolk seem quite shocked at that that act of arcane magnificence. Whoa! How did you do that? Uh, <laughs> I was created by an asshole. I and he gave me magic powers. They seem kind of confused, but once you explain magic powers, they're like, oh, we take it that you're not quite friends with this. Patron? Uh, he's all I've got. So it's a shame. They, 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 they are they are sympathetic to your cause, and uh, and you're so squishable and huggable. They pat you. Acceptable. Um, I uh, I start to. Okay, so are we on like a? Shelf right now. Where you the, you are. It's shallow. So 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 you are in the water right now. You 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 would you would have gone out here, to to, to do this. Okay. The All merfolk right. leader explains that the that the, that the underwater cavern goes on. Uh, it twists in depth and varies. I would say it goes on for about probably three hundred feet. Waterfall. Sorry. The moment we moment we pass the waterfall we are completely submerged you are floating floating yeah you, you are you are floating in this in this sort of watery uh uh area and the merfolk hold on to you as well to as to make sure that you are not swept away by the waterfall's torrent okay gotcha. the merfolk leader explains that down that south in the corridor oh maybe 300 feet would be the path that you seek on the southern and easternmost corridor. Merfolk, Merfolk, uh, they're, they're, we have compatriots that are willing to help point you to the way, but they have posts that they must keep and I must be, I must see to the rest of my people. Yeah, take care of those sweet potatoes. They are actually sweet potatoes. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> so so the merfolk essentially say you know this is where you go merfolk that are keeping posts will help guide you to where you need to go but you're free to explore as you see fit uh but we will have to you know let you do that on your own yeah for sure i'm, I'm eager to go and you know deal with this goblin king for you guys all right hold on to my hand and i will bring you back outside the waterfall once you come in on your own, the torrent will bring you rushing inside the underwater cavern. And from there, you'll need to meet with another merfolk if you want to leave. Because, you know, you guys don't have a swim speed and the waterfall will basically act as a barrier. Right, right, okay. Well, so, assuming you guys aren't 100% ready yet, the merfolk will, will the, the merfolk leader would bring you out to let you breathe. Because you had been underwater this time. I can. I'll be ready. Um, yes. The only, the only person who actually has to breathe in the next hour is Ragnar. Yes. So, to summarize, 
you notice that the water the water in the map has varying brightnesses i'm guessing the lighter parts are the air pockets right the lighter part so so this is so this is um yeah to help clarify uh super super bright water here is indicative of an air pocket and this is maybe uh so if you start at this level which is like deep water it takes 20 feet of movement to travel to uh i don't want i, I I'll, I'll say um i'll say skim i'll say shallow water it takes another 20 feet of movement to go into shore water which there is typically an air pocket so there is, if you want to think about it, a sort of 3D movement. So what you're saying is this would take 15 feet and then this would take 20 feet. Uh, what I'm saying is that when this, if you just, like, you, you are in, you are in deep water here. And yeah. as long as you make, as long as you move at least 20 feet coming here, you can choose to be either in deep water or shallow water. Okay. What if you start here and go like that? That's still that, yeah. You can still make the transition from shallow to, from deep to shallow water. Basically, as part of your movement, as long as you move at least twenty feet, and you cross thresholds, you can change the depth of water you're in. Okay. And then finally, when you're in uh when you're in a shore water it takes another 20 feet of movement to swim straight up and reach a pocket of air okay all right for anyone who's curious about the rules for swimming unless you have a swimming speed you have a you swim at basically half your movement speed and you can stay underwater for a number of rounds equal to your constitution score i believe uh, let me double check. Except for zombie, of course. Yes, yes. People who don't need to breathe can can stay underwater indefinitely. It's I have to, I don't have to breathe. I can hold my breath for one hour. Yes. Uh, and I believe more forge don't need to breathe. That's correct. And so that makes Ragnar the only person who does. <laughs> Sorry. A, a, a creature could hold its breath for a number of minutes equal to one plus Constitution modifier. That's the rule. So what that means is you get a minute. And then for every, and then based on your constitution modifier, you get a few more minutes and a minute is 10 rounds. Um, after that, you start to drown. Yeah. I, I pat Ragnar on the back. Well, uh, good luck, buddy. Don't. You know what? I don't know what this does. So <laughs> let's see if it helps. I'm going to take one of my orange potions and uh, drink it. All right. You take an orange potion and chug it down. Um, That was acid. Oh. Let's see how much damage that does. Um, Because you drank it, I'm going to treat that as a critical hit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Man, dies again. <laughs> he only has eight health. You take seventeen oh. points of damage, <laughs> and I'm dead. No, you're not. The Murphal, the you're, you're not dead. You're you're only dying. <laughs> that uh, seventeen is way. Back. No, you have eight health. Happened. You you would be at negative oh, nine. You're fine. Fucking barely. <laughs> so you, looking at the prospect of drowning in water, would decide you would rather die in acid. But when you chuck this and, and realize uh, ter the terrible mistake you made and start coughing up and writhing on the ground, the merfolk rush in to 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 try to save you. Uh, they'll stabilize you instantly. Can I just point and laugh? Uh, you probably, I mean, you could, yes. <laughs> after a, after a minute of them muttering, like, what the hell was that for? Uh, they will bring you back with one hit point. Uh, so that wasn't a fucking potion right. of water breathing or something. Wow, you really will eat anything, won't you? They say and start laughing. Uh, I, 
I look at my other potions. He's going in for a second. <laughs> well, I mean, one of these gotta help. <laughs> Someone stop him! <laughs> Someone take stop. the potions away from him. I mean, no one told me what the other two potions were. <laughs> I'm going in. Wait, you don't, mean the, <laughs> wait, wait, don't wait. me and the robot know what they are? Yes, you do. Them? You do. Yes, you can tell well, them. You tell them. Yeah. Say you tell them. I don't remember. I'm you don't remember? Green Red is alchemist fire. Green is poison. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Were you guys trying to loot me when I was dying? I did really? loot you as I hold the fucking vial. <laughs> <sighs> if, you, if you if you if if you're if you're if you're concerned about being looted, you of course skim through your potions and realize that your last blue potion is missing. You didn't notice that already. Oh, I assume that was to uh, make me better. <laughs> yes, the um, the mer the the merfolk leader, uh, seeing this conversation occur, starts to understand like, oh, you uh, I see you're maybe not the most confident swimmer. Uh, I am not a big fan of the water. If you. If you are willing to, if you are willing to help undergo the quest of, of vanquishing the great goblin king, I would be willing to. Uh, and he starts to unbuckle his oh. uh, his cloak, and he says, oh. he, and he and he says that if you have coin, and are willing to perform the undertake this quest for us, we are willing to sell this cloak for uh, uh uh to you it is a cloak that will help you swim i i look in my coin purse i got one silver oh shit <laughs> did somebody say coin so How much coin roll roll an arcana check to 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 to, to, to look at the look at the cloak all right as I said, it is a resplendent cloak that the that depicts a, uh, a lined image of a manta ray. Obviously, then you identify that this is a cloak of the manta ray, which I believe gives the uh, whoever hold whoever is wearing the cloak a 60 foot swimming speed, I think, or is it 50 feet or, or 30 feet? Let me take cloak of the manta ray. Uh, 60 feet. Yes, it gives you a 60 feet swimming speed. Um. And you can breathe the, underwater. The merfolk is willing to sell it for 500 gold pieces. This is uh, really awkward, but um, can, can you break a thousand? <laughs> <laughs> you have, you, do you have, do you, do you, uh, do you have a thousand gold? Uh. From the chest. Oh my oh god, you my. Yeah, that's right, you stole it all. Um you, okay, from, so from the chest, you you clearly have like, enough you, you out have of character yeah. I would like to explain my dilemma. Right. I am capable of I am no longer capable of after putting Rocky Four into my genie's vessel. I cannot go back into my genie vessel. Oh, which, means, ah, ah, ah. which means the only way to reacquire the contents of my genie's vessel is to destroy it. <laughs> so can can you not yeah. like just take a, a long rest? Yeah, I was gonna say like let's just take a rest, and so that way we can get not only Ragnar to full health, but so that way you can probably access the genie vessel. Guys, hear me out. Long rest. He gets his little space thing. Uh, more health and call it call it here. Two and a half hours. Every two and a half hours. Are you guys willing to call it here? I, I'd like. To... Let's continue. No. <laughs> well, we're we're I mean, we're. I'm used to, four hours. I'm used to six oh, no. hour sessions. I, you. Okay, you do. I, I can play. I can play for quite a long time. However, we do have to consider we have to we have to consider that our lovable rogue is not here. Uh -huh. So we are already true. down by one person. If one other person wants to go or wants to save the rest of the content for when Ray gets here, I would like to get to the next floor. Mm. Let's at least get to the next uh 
floor before we yeah. call it. Ray comes back. We're like, Ray, we already completed without you. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Ray, we're done. To the final floor. I just want to get there. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. We'll just arrive at the final floor. I and think. then we level up, right? We get to be level two. <laughs> Is that why? Well, no, mostly because then we're like right ready there. Okay. Let's say you take a rest. Okay, the merfolk leader is willing to uh, let you use their sort of aquatic abodes. They're quite comfortable. Okay. I, um, yeah, when we wake up, I guess I'll go into the, uh, go into the bottle, into the water skin, count out 500 gold, stuff it into my bloated body <laughs> and uh reemerge probably like an hour later you are yeah you are uh, the the merfolk will comment on the adaptability of your form it's quite impressive thanks uh yeah i vomit up all the gold he takes it <laughs> willingly and you now have a cloak of the manta ray Hey. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to replace I... this symbol with just a green symbol to indicate that he's a leader. I uh, I give the cloak to Ragnar. And I remove Yay. 500 gold and put it to... Thanks, Jeff. At, this, at the same 69. time, everyone heal all your health. You've taken a long rest. Yeah. All right. Now. You're the best, Jeff. Mm -hmm. I guess before. Uh, oh, I also bring out to... Rocky Four at the same time because Rocky Four can just eat shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I well, I mean, if you have the Manta Ray, Ragnar can just carry Rocky Four with him now. Yeah. Yeah, sick. I'm going to go ahead because you guys are, are going to be making the trip, and I don't want to spend 30 minutes uh, d dealing with Fog of War. I will give you the full layout of the underwater cavern. So am I just gonna Johnny Depp style walk on the ocean floor with Rocky? Um, with the cloak really of the manta ray, you can swim with it as long as you're not encumbered. Well, you said I'd be over encumbered, but it's fine. It gives me, uh, allows me to breathe underwater as well. It allows you to breathe in the water? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, in that case, you would probably just be walking away at the bottom, which can be a problem. You would never be able to actually change your, um, you would not be able to change your altitude. You would always be in deep water. It's fine. I'll climb up at the end. I'll just stick onto Ragnar, I guess. Uh -huh. Lazy Jeff. <laughs> God, there's right. there, these. This cavern. Why did I make this cavern so twisty and turny? This is why I'm doing you know all the fog of war right now, so I don't have to like deal with it later. The pains of map making. No, you know what? As an apology for eating his friend, I am gonna leave the leader with Rocky Four. There you go. All right, here is. Here is the entire underwater cavern. That's a that's a bit. That's a bit of cavern. Thank you. Damn. But yeah. I will sacrifice and Holy leave my shit. Is. Oh, um You are we 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 are honored. We are humbled. Uh he he moves uh, past and and uh and uh and, and moves to uh to one of the other merfolk he's like what what is this that rock is really important to him what, what for is, some reason what is this probably a minotaur thing they chuckle it has served me well and <laughs> i hope he serves you just as well we can make it through this cavern in under a minute if you're well ro well uh ragnar definitely can uh, well, no, uh, yeah, Ragnar no, definitely can, no, and everyone else, no. no one else needs to breathe. No. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. So, so because because you have the cloak of the manta ray, and because none of no one else needs to breathe, I'm going to say that the actual underwater travel part is trivial, and just ask you where you want to go. All right, hang on one second. Before we go, I want to go ahead and ask the leader about what happened to my master. If he happened to know anything about it. Your master? I am afraid I'm not sure what you refer to. The wizard that was in the previous floor. The wizard above us? I did not know of such things. We've only, we've been here for many years, but we would not dare leave this abode. The goblins made a home of the floors above us, and they would attack whenever we showed our faces. If there was a wizard there, he must have done something to the goblins beforehand. We knew nothing of their existence, or his existence. I see. Thank you for your hospitality. Yes. Please, please see one of our oracles. If you describe them, we might be able to divine his location. Oh, uh, oracle. Where are they? Uh, he points to he points to one of the merfolk that is tending to the potatoes. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and make them the oracle. Mm-hmm. Potato oracle. Are you Are... the oracle that the leader has spoken of? That I am. I am I, seeking to look for my master's location. Mm, Will he be I, willing to help assist? I am aware of your troubles, my child. I overheard the conversation. <laughs> if you would if you would please help me to understand, the more I know about your dear master, the easier it will be to me to for me to understand where he resides in this world. Right? Let's see. He is the last remaining member of my creators. I served him under him as a bodyguard of sorts. Uh, do I happen to do I have to roll like a history in order? To no, you, 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 you know everything about your creator. This is this is oh. your narrative flow. Okay. Ooh. Well, fuck, hang on. Let me <laughs> let me go ahead and get something out because I think. Uh, all right. As far as I know, he was a slightly more older elven uh, wizard. Oh, the elves. We know them well. Their their fey origins can make them difficult to ascertain. What about what they were wearing? Their voice? Uh, ooh. from from my recent memories, it was a was it blue or purple? Was it that? It's up I've, to you. I've, let's okay. Let's go with purple to match with the whole background eye colors. Yeah, that. yeah. It was a purple cloak. And cloaked in purple. Mm, she closes her eyes and begins to focus. Mm. I am beginning to see there are many who fit this description. Mm. The vision is clear yet foggy at the same time. The crowd thins. I will be continuing on this. Best see me again. Uh, at a, you know, best see me again. It may take some time. I will return. All right. Hopefully, I will have coin as payment by the time I return. Your the, the generosity is always welcome in our land. Okay. Okay. So, where do you guys want to go? Because you guys have basically free movement, you guys can decide where you want to go. You guys decide who you want to talk to inside, what pockets of air you want to visit first, uh, which shorelines you want to go in. Yes, as soon as you jump in, 
as the merfolk explain, the torrent of the waterfall pushes you down and swirls you into a sort of vortex. You spin around, struggling to avoid crashing into any of the in, in any of the oceanic walls. And then, and then, and then, just as quickly as the torrent pulls you under the waterfall, it no. pff, spits you out. My turn. My turn. <laughs> No. Me next, me next. <laughs> Mario's just gonna sing like a rock because of all the heavy stuff. <laughs> just been walking on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, what about Jeff? I'm all the way. Why do I know? How... Oh, what? shoot, Jeff, you'd already been swimming for a while. Yep. All right. Where is he? Oh damn! <laughs> He's all the way. He, he he made a beeline. Wait, where's my yeah. spinny? Don't worry Admin, I want the spinny. Why do you want the spinny? I want the spinny. All right, you spin. There you go. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is that? You spun. Yeah. I want the I want the funny thing. Oh, like you you mean you mean this? Yeah. <laughs> You can do this yourself. You just need to use the ruler oh. tool. <laughs> I just figured out how to do that. Hold on. You cannot replicate the spinning. How do you? Oh. <laughs> it didn't work. You gotta click and hold your character. Uh huh. And then right click. Okay. But it's not my character. Don't move with it though. See? With the select and move tool. Uh huh. I see. I, I totally knew this. Okay. Um, so, you see... I give up. Sure, sure enough, you see a shoreline with a merfolk standing guard. On his side I is an air pocket that turns into a shoreline. At the far end, a hole with a simple wooden ladder hangs down, uh, seemingly damp from the crashing waves. The merfolk greets Jeff as Jeff approaches and says, Ah, while you were resting, I was informed by the scouts of our tribe. You and your kin are here to defeat the Goblin King, yes? Yeah, the others will be here soon. I'll be back in a while. Mm. Oh, let me give this guy a different voice. Well, in that case, we'll be here, making sure the goblins do not uh, strike preemptively. But, never, but nevertheless, at least you are aware, this is where they reside. Sounds good to me. I mean, where, two, where two, are your kin, anyway? Uh, <laughs> boy, somewhere. Oh. Nope. I might as well stay here. They'll, they'll end up here at some point. Well, enjoy enjoy our sights. Don't cause any trouble now. I couldn't if I wanted to. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Wait, should I roll deception? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm you're just fine. gonna go sit on the shore and kind of look at the okay. waves. Okay, Ragnar, I see that you're swimming on this corner. <laughs> you hit the jackpot, so to speak. You spot a you spot a small shoreline with a few crabs that have that are that are clicking around, uh, seeming to hum to themselves and dance around. Whoa, a large pile of platinum. Or a, not a large, but a small pile of platinum are formed in a pile that the crab surrounds. Let me add another crab here, actually. They're clicking and humming. Are they doing a crab rave? Perhaps. You could hear you could hear the faint music. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna look back at this uh, merfolk over here. Is this by chance your coffers? Oh, they're not mine. The crabs like to the crabs love to collect shiny things. Hmm. Let the crabs have their money. Yeah. Careful, they're you as, as as you turn back the he he calls out. Careful, they're a little protected. I am gonna hold out a silver piece. Ooh. You hold out a silver piece, and the crabs eye it longingly. Some of them start to inch towards you and reach out to it. Ah, uh, 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 uh. willing to trade? Trade? The crabs don't quite understand your request. They simply want your silver. 
I'm gonna go over to the pile. They follow you. I'm gonna gently take one coin while placing mine down. And if fix you, me. If you try to place, oh, if you try to place, <laughs> if you try to place just one coin down, the crabs will focus on protecting their horde instead and try to strike at you. Um, I'm gonna make an attack with disadvantage because you clearly see this coming. They miss. I've gotta still gingerly take one coin. Well, they're well. They stop you from taking the coins. I mean, unless unless you insist on taking it, in which case they'll continue to attack. I don't foresee me getting my uh, silver piece back, huh? No, for uh, the you you get the feeling that that the the platinum is just a little bit shinier than the silver. And because you're because you're giving them one coin and taking one coin in their in their simple crab brains, that is a net loss. Mm. So until you drop that platinum, they will start to swarm and attack you. I will drop the platinum. All right, they bygones are bygones. They go back to their horde. They start to cover okay. themselves in it now that you. I've shown that you are willing to take from them. Uh, I'm gonna be right back quick, all right? They do not give you back your silver. I don't foresee them giving me back my silver. Your single they are, silver? They do, they do appear to be quite happy with the silver. They, they nestle it around and bury it among the rest of the platinum. Hmm. God damn it. Perhaps... <laughs> perhaps they'd be they perhaps they'd be more inclined to overlook your stealing if you were to offer them a better trade. He doesn't have any more money. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't retrieve more money. He doesn't have more money. Yeah, I, I, I get the I get I get I get exactly what your problem you is. You know what? I'm gonna show off my amethyst. Your amethyst, your gem? Yeah. Oh, that's that that shines crazy bright, uh, uh, especially because it's been covered by the salty water, and the crabs are absolutely enamored by it. They want it so throw, bad. I'm gonna throw it into this corner right here. Fetch, you say or think? They all scatter off to collect it. Now's your chance. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a handful and run. <laughs> All right, roll a d8. No, uh, roll a d12. You managed to snatch up four platinum before making your escape. <laughs> so five, five gold uh, worth of amethyst for. Uh, All right. For uh, uh, four platinum, I say that's a fair trade. <laughs> All right, is platinum let's... ten gold or a hundred gold? Platinum is a hundred gold. Ten. Huh? No, it's ten gold. In in my settings, they're a hundred gold. Oh. That's why I was asking mostly because of. Oh. But you made you made out like a bandit. Uh. So uh, there's this lovely little book called Art of the Deal. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I'm gonna skedaddle, skadoodle. All right. This dick is definitely not a noodle. Uh, Quentin, you come in just in time to see uh, Ragnar toss the amethyst aside and grab and pocket a handful of platinum before making his escape. Quentin, that's you, zombie. What? Damn it, zombie! Are you looking at memes on the internet? No. What am I? What do I do? I don't know. Do you know what? Do you see what happened? I don't know where I'm going. Oh my god! I'm lost. <laughs> I'm confused and lost. Oh my god! No Todd, one told me anything. Quent Quentin zombie head empty. Like just got no here. brains. <laughs> so like just got here. All right, I'll describe the scene again for you. You come across this shoreline. And you spot a small treasure trove, three crabs. Uh, okay, never mind. 
What the hell? <laughs> all right, are we, are we all are we all ready to go uh, to go to the fifth floor? In which case, I'll have everyone close off for the day, and everyone will be level two. Yeah. What does level da, two da, mean? Da, da, what does that mean da, for me? Da, da, that means da, da, that you get it. It means, it means you level up. How where do I put that? Uh, I will off off stream. I will explain how level ups work. No, off stream. You should just go into my thing and customize everything for me. I'll give you all the worst options. Thank you. All right, awesome, great, fair deal. All right, for uh, for everyone else who is checking out the stream, thanks so much for 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 hanging out, for seeing actual progress oh, yeah. being made. Oh, zombie! Nice. Thank you for thank you so much for the hydration station. Hold on. Ah, that was a bit of a natural projection there. Okay, let's find someone to raid. We've got your mom. No, I'm not streaming. I wish. Um. And the Pat is streaming Dead by Daylight right now. So let's go ahead and give her some love. What's our, what should our raid message be, gentlemen? Dicks. Okay. What should our raid message be, gentlemen? Blood for the blood god. All right. Skulls for the skull throne. All right. Silver for the crabs. Blood for the blood god. I'm working on it. Blood for the blood god. Views for the Twitch streamer. <laughs> Views for the streamer. All right, let's do it. And then, and then finally, silver for the crabs. So here's our raid message. Feel free to give Panda Pat lots of love. Tell her I said hi. I mean, I'll tell her hi as well, but double highs. On Wednesday, we are cleaning up our Dead by Daylight achievement grinding, at least on the killer side. And then, uh, and that's it, I guess, on, on Wednesday. Also, tomorrow, we are doing a video game event on my Discord. If you have not joined my Discord yet, please do so. We're playing Dead by Daylight Customs on Tuesday, and we are playing King of Tokyo on Wednesday. If you have Tabletop Simulator or Dead by Daylight, please feel free to hop on the Discord. We're going to have a lot of fun together. Until then, though, peace out, Cub Scouts. What if I told everyone that they can't hear you? Fuck! Oh, yeah. I should have. I should unmute Zombie now. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, thanks, thanks. <laughs> there you go. All right. Bye-bye, y'all. Boo.